Oh, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I think I think this stream should now be up. I think you can hear me. Hello. Hello, are you there? Can you actually hear me? Is this is this actually live? I don't know who to trust though. Um chat, if we're actually live, say Oh boy, I can't wait to have my organs harvested. Um, that way I know you're here, and yeah, that's also technically consent. Right, that's consent for organs to be harvested. Uh, so make sure you say, yes, I am legally happy for uh, the Spiffco uh, operatives or representative of the Spiffing Brit to come and take my organs at any moment. Make sure to put that and then, of course, also sign it and post that as a signed document to the P.O. Box. Uh, we need it. Uh, it's necessary. Uh, as we're going to be doing some pretty insane things today. So, ladies and gentlemen, what have you got yourself signed up to? Either if you're watching the stream live or if you're watching a VOD, who knows? Also, I think I need to turn my microphone down just a little bit. Oh, my goodness. Um, here we go, my friend. Fantastic. That should be perfectly balanced now so that my microphone doesn't peak and I get a bit too loud or excited. Um, so, what are we doing today? Very simple. We are playing RimWorld, which if, of course, you don't know what it is, it is a pretty standard colony management game where you're trying to take a whole bunch of pawns and put them into space and... Um, just do whatever you like in the meantime. You can, you know, set up a nice farm, have some pet animals, maybe raise some cows, whatever, worship some trees, do whatever you need. Or you can do what I love to do, which is uh, rip organs out of people, uh, turn it into tea, and then sell it on the uh, illicit black market. It's the best way to celebrate your birthday. I recommend everyone does it, to be honest. Uh, oh, dear. You need to change the video resolution. The current resolution is 2560 by 1440. Oh dear, I completely forgot. Oh dear, I shouldn't be streaming in 4K. Oh, beans, give me a moment. This is most embarrassing. Streamlabs OBS, you're not meant to be in this resolution, my friend. Oh, this means I'm going to have to end the stream and start it again. Uh, I'll be back in one moment, chat. This could entirely beans up. I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> this could beans up massively. <laughs> One second. Right, and we should be back now. Okay, we should be back, hopefully, right now. There we go. I think we're back. Uh, tell me if we are, in fact, back, chat. Tell me. I desire to know. Um, 1440p is good quality. Well, I know 1440p is good back, good quality. But yes, hopefully, we're back. Um... Yeah, I know, sorry. YouTube doesn't like streams being at 4K. They like to upscale 1080p and put it to 4K, which is a complicated kettle of fish. But hey, we're back. Um, now, of course, we're back. You can like the stream. You can, of course, legally say happy birthday to me, despite the fact that technically my birthday was way back on August the 1st. Um, but hey, the channel was deleted on August the 1st, so it wasn't exactly like we could celebrate it then because I didn't have a YouTube channel. So we're back. We're here to play some RimWorld. And, of course, what are we doing today? Well, we're going to be showcasing a few very fun exploits that you can pull off with the brand new RimWorld 1.3 update, the Ideology expansion. There's a few very fun cheeky little shenanigans we can pull off to kind of break the game and cheese it in some magical ways. Some very, very mwah, mwah, spicy, perfectly balanced gaming moments. Um, of course, thank you very much to all of you in chat for turning up here today. Uh, seriously, thank you everyone who likes the stream. It is really, really, really powerful in the YouTube algorithm to like a stream or a video. It's just magical, I know. It pretty much breaks everything that YouTube tries to stop us creators from cheesing. So we're going to start a brand new colony. Um, we're not going to do a scenario editor because we don't need to. We're just going to go for the standard crash landed, but we will modify it a bit because we need to give ourselves a large quantity of chickens because chickens are very important, ladies and gentlemen. Everyone needs a chicken. Um, it's very magical. Now, we're going to play... Um, uh, we can play Randy Random. We'll play Randy Random on uh, Strive to Survive, which I'm pretty sure is standard. Uh, or is it Adventure... I think Adventure Story is standard, but we can do Strive to Survive. You know, it'll be a rough challenge, but of course it's fine because we can just cheese it a bunch. We have a whole bunch of cheeky little shenanigans to get around whatever Randy Random's going to throw at us. And of course reload any time because, you know, we're a streamer, we're allowed to do that. Uh, tribes, they're all fine. Um, seed, oh, Yorkshire tea. There we go. This is my favorite seed to always use when I'm playing RimWorld. 
Fantastic, let's generate this world. Of course, we're playing with a few mods, Harmony, Rimworld Herd, Canberra Plus, EDB Prepare Carefully, and a final one that I didn't read out in time, but basically allows us to harvest organs from bodies. Basically, if someone dies, we can rip a leg off of them. Uh, this is how I like to play my video games, because the stream ended. Seriously, the stream ended. The stream is still up. Don't tell me the stream is dead. How is the stream down? How is... is the... seriously? Jeez, YouTube. <sighs> I'm gonna lose my mind. YouTube... YouTube, you best not be dead. No, it's there. I can see it. Stream's up. If, if you can't see the stream, just refresh. Tell the people who can't see the stream just to press F5. It's there. There you go. They just have to refresh the page. It's not difficult. It takes five seconds. You just refresh the page. Um, right, welcome to RimWorld, uh, RimWorld 1.3, as we play a very unique game of RimWorld. We've got some pretty unique, unique things to do today, because we want to situate ourselves nice and central, um, to a whole bunch of factions. There's a load of factions here, and we, of course, want to kind of be in a temperate forest, so, and, of course, have a highway, so I think probably large hills right here, perfect place to put a base, you know, we got couple of areas that we can interact with people this is very important for all of the exploits uh we need to we need to pull off uh no the solution to the stream being down is not hit alt f4 that does not that does not fix the stream <laughs> don't press alt f4 right so we're gonna pick uh this little area here this would be perfect right near orange goat anchorage my favorite location Oh, yes. Now, we need to actually create ourselves a ideology. Now, there's a few kind of like unique ideologies that we could go for, like, say, I don't know, human purists, high collectivists, uh, nature over man, or cannibals, um, because cannibals are great. So naturally, we're going to create our own religion where um, I guess everyone is, uh, I guess, bloody dominators. The weak deserve to lose what they have. Raiding and enslaving are honourable. Unlocks melee and shooting specialist roles. We'll have gladiator jewels. That seems fine. Um, and then bloody dominators. As they believe in supremacy actions. Oh, but we can't have cannibals as well. Oh. Um, not the family. Hardworking, like-minded people. Putting yourself first is not acceptable. Human purists. And we can have human purists, but it's mostly just eating people. And then high collectivists, well, we're not really going to be doing drugs, so that's fine. Uh, anyway, we're going to be cannibals, and naked man-eaters, definitely not doing that. We're just going to be cannibals. <laughs> nice basic cannibals. We could be cannibal cowboys. <laughs> Welcome to Ram Ranch. <laughs> Fifteen naked cowboys at Ram Ranch. <laughs> I can't remember the song. Oh, God, the song. Yeah, I know we can customize. We can create a custom ideology. Okay, we'll be um, ideological. Uh, we'll have supremacist. We'll have individualist. Actually, we don't want that. We just want uh, supremacist. Choose at least one meme. One meme? Cannibal. There we go. Uh, cannibal, supremacists, and raiders. Uh, we could do raiders. Um... Raiding required. Oh, don't want to. I don't want to have required because we don't really need to do that. People are just going to come to us. There we go. Cannibal supremacists. Perfect. Um, it's just going to be called neo ethics. Perfect. Why not? Um, blindness is horrible. Fe <laughs> Corpses don't care. Um, moral guide. First eater. Nice. Skull spike is desired. <laughs> it's not that Oh, this is incredible. Insect meat is despised. Fungus is despised. <laughs> oh my goodness, I love it. Relics, the blood bow. Weapons, the melee piercer. Nice, I like this. Venerated animals, we could... Oh, that's pretty fun. I like all of this. This is very, very, very fun. It's all quite early, you know, the fun stuff, but hey. Are you guys seriously locked up 1440p? How can you be locked up 1440p? Is this seriously? Oh my god, it is? How? Oh, I can select it to 1080p. 
Yeah, you just put it to 1080p and then it's not 1440p. It's not difficult. How is it for... It's not 1440p. Chat, I swear some of you have been huffing glue or something. Like, you can literally just move the setting up, okay? It's like it's like someone handing you a painting and then you putting, like, clean film over your eyes and being like, I can hardly see this painting on the wall. It's all it's all blurry. I, oh, who's gone in... Who's gone in the way of the painting? Oh, it's very bad quality painting. Can't see it. Chat, sometimes you're just, you're just smooth brain potatoes, uh, sometimes, but we love you nonetheless. Um, right, so first couple of colonists, of course, we've got Autumn Sicarius. Thank you very much for your 5,000 yens. Uh, Autumn, you're going to be our first colonist. Uh, Autumn Jennifer. Nope, just, just Autumn, please. Uh, we're going to prepare carefully, of course. Bam. Uh, I'm just going to put Autumn. Autumn. Don't need last name sold off. Street urchin ranger. Yep, that's fine. You can be good with plants. You're jealous. Oh, let's go to that. Careful shooter. That's fine. That one's fun. And oh, cannibal. There we go. Because of course everyone has to be a cannibal. Um, so we have to add that in for everyone. You as well, cannibal. Uh, industrious fast learner. That's pretty fun. Get rid of all that rubbish and make you younger. We don't want you to be 69. Jeez. Come on, I'm not running an old person's home. Fantastic. Randomize you so you look good. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. Oh, he's beautiful. Right, this is our next person. J-Man, thank you very much for $200, my friend. Happy birthday, you wonderful individual. Happy birthday to you. Oh, wait, no, it's not happy birthday to you, too, because it's only my birthday. I forget that's exactly how it works. Um, you guys don't get to celebrate your birthday the same time as me. But hey, sucks to be you. Uh, not for me. Uh, next person. Uh, do, 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 do. Who have we got? We got Tyler Roman. Welcome, Tyler Roman. And we're going to have, a, like, I think, maybe four uh, starting colonists. Um, well, we're just going to call you Roman instead because Tyler doesn't fit in and Roman sounds fun. Uh, and we're going to crank you up so that you're good with animals. I'm afraid you're ugly, but that's fine. Um, we need someone who's good with animals. Uh, so, Roman, you'll have to be animal person. That's okay. We can now add more. What would we like to add? A do 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 do. I would like some kind of hunter. That'd be fun. There we go. She the farmer. Right. We can rename this. Do 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 do. Who have we got for this? Ah, uh, we can just name it after. We can name it later. We got a couple of people who we can just name later. Um, if you've given some money, that's fantastic. That's really generous. I know there's a huge amount of you given five dollars. Here's what I'm gonna do for you, lovely people who um who have donated five dollars. We're gonna turn all of you into um into chickens that's right uh because this colony needs a gigantic quantity of chickens we need a huge amount of chickens i can genuinely not express just how many chickens we can get can i expense this super chat connor you're not allowed to expense the super chat connor's getting cheeky because i've given him an expense account right because you know he does so much with the company um dexter lao thank welcome friend good to see you around uh, I think. Nope, I can just put in Dexter, right? You're just going to be Dexter. Uh, cannibal body purist who is too smart. This means you're going to have lots of mental breakdowns. I hope you're happy. Uh, relationships. We don't need to deal with that. That's fine. Ex-husbands and all that in the world. Doesn't matter. Uh, here's what we want to add in. Um, do, 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 do. Resources. Animals. Animals, animals, animals. We need not ducks. We need chickens. Now, there's a very unique gameplay mechanic in this game because basically um, chickens are very special creatures. They're very cheap. They're very affordable. As you can see, we can just whack in like four male chickens here. Let's find some female chickens. I think they're up here. Uh, chickens are cheap. Very, 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 very cheap because they're not exactly that special. So there we go. We've got four male chickens. Let's get... 10 female chickens. Now the magical thing with chickens is they multiply very quickly. And then the other special thing with chickens is that you can sell them. So basically traders will come 
to your uh, your lovely house and be like, hey, do you have any goods to sell? And you can be like, yes, I have goods to sell. Peruse my collection of cocks or chickens, depending on what you want to call them. Um, and you can sell those traders chickens. There's just one slight issue. Selling chickens at the moment in the game kind of breaks the traders AI just a little bit, especially if you lock the chickens into their pens and um, it can create something magical. So that's exactly what we're kind of going for today. We're going to create a large quantity of chickens, sell, the, basically trade cocks to traders, sell, sell our cocks to traders. That's how it is. Um, <laughs> we're gonna set up Ram Ranch. <laughs> oh my God, everyone should be a cowboy. <gasps> That's how we should do it. Oh my gosh. Right, we're making them all cowboys. Um, hat. Uh, where's cowboy? Cowboy hat. Yes, everyone gets a cowboy hat. Everyone gets a cowboy hat. Oh, it's going to be amazing. Hat. Uh, cowboy hat. Fuck. <laughs> Welcome to Ram Ranch. Okay, we're going to have one final call list. Uh, do, 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 do. Probably another farmer. Yeah, we can either we can have a farmer. Sure, from a gentle tribe. There we go. Nope. You need a cowboy hat. There we go. Bam. Who's gonna be our final, final character here? It is of course going to be none other than legendary Matsy Verts, who we're just gonna call Verts for short. There we go. Lovely stuff. Great memory, misogynist and fast learner. You're gonna get on great with um the two the two sausages of the colony. It'll be fine. Everyone will work itself out. Oh, I need to make you a little bit older uh, so that you actually have an adulthood. Very important to give your people an adulthood. Oh dear, game has gone angry. <laughs> Age. Okay, no, I can't make you older. Fine, fine, I can't make you older. <laughs> Can I do it now? Nope. Fine, I can't give you an adulthood, Vert, so you're just going to have to not have an adulthood. Why are you incapable of dumb labour? You're going to be a nightmare. Oh my god, it's the one, the only, a wayward waffle, my friend. Good lord, thank you for a hundred bucks. Actually, you know what, I've got something prepped for this. I've got something prepped for when someone is ridiculously generous. And um, I forgot to do it for J-Man, who gave $200. So, J-Man, a wa wayward waffle, I created this just for you. Just for you, my friend. Look at this. Look at... <laughs> Wait, there's a song playing? I can't hear the song. There's a song playing. I hope we have the copyright for this song. Um, <laughs> I put a good bit of work into this, okay? I didn't even do this last year. This was made last year, okay? Um, so I didn't do it today, but a lot of effort went into this. Just remember that. A lot of effort. It takes a lot of effort for me to do things, okay? I'm really, really effective. Uh, right, equipment-wise, what do we want for equipment? We've got bolt-action rifle, a revolver, a knife. Uh, we're going to need a few more package survival meals because we've got some extra people, so I'll just crank that up to 75. And otherwise, I think we're good. I want to get rid of the male Yorkshire Terrier. We don't need that. We can get rid of that. And then for fun, should I just whack in a fun weapon? Just a really fun, silly weapon. Zeus Hammer. I would love to take the Zeus Hammer, but I know I shouldn't. <laughs> Persona Plasma Sword, Persona Zeus Hammer, Mono Sword. Jeez, these sound great fun. Uh, instead, we're just going to take a single ceremonial... I shouldn't take a golden weapon. The single ceremonial Doomsday Rocket Launcher. <laughs> we're just going to take a single auto pistol. It's not a very good weapon, but it'll be good. It'll be useful. Um, right. Are we ready for this? Oh, Christopher Needham says, based on Spiff's YouTube current audience figures, there's a 0.0000006% chance no one here shares your birthday. There's a there's a chance someone in, on this planet does share the same birthday as me. Imagine that being the only person to have your birthday on one day. I mean, it doesn't exist, but it would be interesting. Anyway, I think we're ready to go. I'll just save this preset. Um, Ram Ranch, there we go. Save preset. What is... There was a problem while saving. It'll be fine. Prepare carefully is, uh, is you know, putting up a fit. It'll be okay. Oh, my God. Grey ferret with a last minute 4,000 rub. Okay, right. We'll get you added in quickly. Grey ferret in. You can be... Um... 
the designated trader because we do need one. Uh, bam, bam, bam. Cowboy hat. Uh, Gourmand. Get rid of chemical fascination and whacking cannibal. Equally, vert needs to be a cannibal as well, I realize. So we'll get rid of... Uh, we can just add it in. More traits, more good. Um, bam, 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 bam. Thank you, Grey Ferret, for your ridiculously generous 4,000 rub. Uh, Grey... Right, we're just going to be ferret with one R. <laughs> okay, I think this is actually perfect. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. So, um, are you sure you've finished? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's go. So there you go. Reclaim, Reuse, and Recycle is our other mod that we're using today. It's quite a powerful one. Um, and there you go. Everything worked out perfectly. Look at that. Everything worked out fine. Here comes everyone. Oh, look at them. They've arrived. Bam, bam, bam. Where are the chickens? Where are all of my... Look at my chickens! Oh, they've all got names that, of course, appear, but, you know, we're going to rename them. Uh, so immediately, first thing, of course, you want to, you know, accept everything, uh, allow everything. Uh, you know, this isn't exactly a smart parenting method, but just drag over everything in your life and say that it's allowed, you know. What is this? This is an ancient ruined tank. Nice. I, I haven't played the ideology expansion yet, so this is all exciting. I am yet to see most of this stuff. Ancient lamppost. Ooh. There's a lot of guinea pigs on this map. There is a ancient bed. <laughs> ancient kitchen sink. Look at all of these ancient things. Ancient car. <gasps> oh, wow. Look at, this. Look at this. Ancient security turret. Ooh. Ancient tank trap. Ancient generator. Ancient mechanoid shells. A squirrel. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff out here. We'll allow all of the steel. There we go. We'll need that for building and the like. And you know what? I think we are completely good to go. I don't like the fact that there's a whole bunch of weird old crates, but that's okay. Right, where are we setting up our base? There's not exactly a good spot to set up our base to get raided, because well, we're going to get raided a lot, ladies and gentlemen. It happens. Everyone knows, you know, it's RimWorld, you get raided. But what they don't necessarily know is when it comes to getting raided in this game, it happens for one very important reason. And that reason is, hang on a second, I've got debug mode enabled. Uh, where are you, debug mode? Learning helper? No. Uh, development mode. Bam. There we go. It's gone away. Fantastic. We're back to normal. So, very important thing uh, is taking a look at... Where is the graphs menu? Is it this? No. I've completely forgotten where the stats are. Is it world? No. Quests? No, of course it's not. It's just history. Yes, here we go. History. So, this is a very important statistic in RimWorld. This is your wealth graph, basically. So, this is your wealth of items, your wealth of creatures, your wealth of buildings, and combined it reaches your total wealth. The way the game tracks your progression is very simple. It's off of this statistic here. The more crap you have, the higher your wealth is. If you're hoarding like an absolute potato, then your wealth is going to go up and up and up and up and up, and the game goes, hang on a second, this person's doing quite well. So, what do they do? They send a raid at you. But they send a raid at you based on your wealth statistic. If you have a whole bunch of really expensive organs lying around on the floor, bam, that's a high level of wealth. You're gonna get a more you're gonna get a more difficult raid, basically. But this entire system can be circumnavigated using a bit of magic, and that's exactly what we're going to be doing today, along with a few other things. And also for some reason the UI looks like I'm playing a mobile game, but that's fine. We'll just we'll accept it. Um, so few important things we need to do. We need to set down a stockpile zone. Where are we going to build this base? There's not really a very defensible position. I suppose this area here is the best defensible position we're going to get. So we're going to set up a stockpile here, I guess. Yep, that's fine. Uh, we can set up a growing zone here in this nice area. Um, and we can grow, you know, the classic potatoes. And then we'll also set up a second growing zone next to it. And this one will grow rice. Uh, as that one grows really fast. I haven't got my T mod enabled. Oh, that's devastating. Well, I just have to do. Bison. Oh my goodness. Look at these. Look at these bisons. Wow. It's almost as big as your mum. Dab. 
Ah, uh, it's it's been a long day, ladies and gentlemen. You don't know how long it's been. <laughs> right, you know what? We can just we can just manually have this set everyone to pretty much mining. Everyone can do some growing. Most people can do plank cutting, except you because you suck at everything, J-Man. I'm sorry. You can do tailoring and smithing though. Uh, researching, you're terrible. Wow, we literally have the vert researcher in the world. Thank you. Thank you, I have my moments. Um, right, and it is time, I guess, to also get building. So we're going to want a wall uh, because everyone needs a place to sleep. Uh, do, 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 do. We don't want to build over that steam vent, else everyone's going to burn to death inside of well, whilst they sleep, and that's a bad thing. Uh, so we can just kind of build a nice area like so here, whack in a wooden door, and then divide up some rooms. So I think one room could go here quite happily there we go someone can have a room there someone can have a room here won't be the best room but who cares you know not all rooms are created equal uh, that's a lesson you'll learn from a very young age i'm sorry guys it's just the brutalist society we live in uh, and then another bedroom here and another bedroom here and then i think a final bedroom right there perfect look at that we got everyone's bedroom sorted now we just need to put a bed in everyone's bedroom do, 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 do. Bed for you, a bed for you, a bed for you, a bed for you, a bed for you, and a bed for you. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. Look at me. I'm doing great. Right, wooden doors for all. One, two, three, four, five, six. And also a wall there because I missed it. Fantastic. Right, now. Do, 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 do. Uh, Gavin Charlton donates £10 to say, Banlord 2, you can find a unit called the Batanian Volunteer. If you can buy the unit, it currently has a glitch where the image does not show up, uh, but you're basically hiring children with no hitbox. Nice, I like the sound of that. I'll have to take a look at that. <laughs> I think I did actually hear something about that as well. Um, right, now, most importantly, because, you know, People sleeping and having a space for people to sleep is one thing. But what's the most important thing for us? The most important thing is a home for our chickens. Uh, because our chickens are the most important part of this entire operation. Seriously, they are worth much, much, much more than a colonist. Chickens are brilliant. They are going to make us so much money, it is ridiculous. Uh, I think they also have a space in furniture, right? Is it furniture? Or is it... Misk, where is chicken house? Skull spike, no. Egg box, egg box, there we go. So we want a couple of egg boxes. We can just surround them, just put them around the pit of fire right here, just so that it can boil the eggs, there you go. Just use the natural geyser. <laughs> uh, pen maker, oh, pen marker, yep, we're gonna need one of those. Chicken p capacity 16.2, that's fine. We can whack all of our chickens in there, no problem. Uh, and I think that's about it. I don't think we need anything else in there. Sarcophagus is always fun. Caravan parking spot. Okay, now this is important. You want to set the caravan parking spot to be out here, near your chicken coop, but not close enough to the chicken coop where they can overlap. And then, I think, pretty much good to go. We're going to mine out, I think, this wall here, this wall like so, and... These two like here, just to give the bedrooms a little bit more space. And of course, zone out a dumping stockpile, perfect. And then finally, expand a roof area. Oh no, build roof area right here, because you don't want stuff in your stockpile breaking down. Perfect. Cannot build roof over poplar tree. Well, cut the tree down. We're not hippies, chop down the trees. Jeez, get rid of them trees. Screw the environment. Also, hello, chat. How are you doing? It has been a while since I streamed, um, and I might be streaming more often. You'll learn about why I'll be streaming more often very shortly, because um, there is an interesting, an interesting reason as to why. Um, basically, there's some there's some magic uh, involving YouTube at the moment and live streams. Uh, not all live streams are created equal, basically. Um, some are kind of broken and consequently consequently we shall be enjoying some slightly broken live streams uh for quite a while i think right you grab that you grab that you grab that 
and you are a maniac who needs to grab the knife. Right, you can wear the flak pants and also that, I guess. Oh, good dear, the chickens are already at it. The chickens are at it. I will rename the chickens shortly, but for the time being, are they laying eggs? No, that's silver. I was like, hang on a second, 189 eggs? That's too many. That's too many. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. All right, bam. Put on the uh, the armor. Where is the body armor? Where is the body armor gone? I thought it was right here. Someone else has run off with the body armor. That's fine. Uh, where's the knife? I swear we crash land with a knife. You know, I'm blind. I'll find it eventually. Until then, eh. Oh, wait, the knife is probably over here, isn't it? Yeah, of course it is. All right, you pick up the knife. Perfect. Perfect stuff. Oh, but yes, how are we doing today, chat? Have you had a nice summer holiday? Have you been anywhere special? Have you experienced anything nice? Drunk any lovely warm cups of tea? Or has it just been a miserable case of sitting indoors, crying, and watching as the world around you melts? Because, my goodness, it has been warm as of late. And you know what? I've already decided we're going to probably need more, more chicken area than just this. I genuinely think we're going to need... We're going to need more, so I'm going to wall it like so. Uh, like so, and then like so. And then we can just go up like this. I think this should give us more space for chickens. Uh, probably. At least I think so. Right, now we just have to wait for our colonists to assemble all of this rubbish. It should take a little bit. You've cried? Stannis, why? Also, Stannis, you know what? You can have the first, you can have the first chicken. Um... I think it's in the health section I get to rename them. No, social, training, training. Yes, there we go, training. Right, welcome and say hello, ladies and gentlemen, to Stan is the chicken. Stan is, you're our first chicken, welcome. Blightwolf, thank you very much for your very generous donation of $50 to say Jedi Master Yoda says, tea drinker are you? Big sausage think you have. <laughs> Light your food. <laughs> thank you, Blightwolf, for that lovely donation of $50. Oh dear, oh dear. Black Wolf, there you go. You are now represented as a massive cock. Uh, actually, no, you're a female chicken. You're just a chicken. Uh, Christine S, can I be a chicken? Of course you can be a chicken, my friend. You are now this chicken right here. Christian S, there we go. Strix says he wants to be a chicken. Strix daddy for chicken. Well, you can be a male chicken. Welcome, Strix. Bam. Uh, Rake of the Chicken? No, 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 no. You are no longer Rake of the Chicken. Uh, you are now Master Walt. Master Walt. Master Walt, my friend. Enjoy being a chicken. There we go. Lovely stuff. Now, we're going to be mass producing chickens very, very quickly because it's going to happen. Can I be a chicken? You know what? You can be a chicken. Uh, what is what is you can be a chicken just be warned remember ladies and gentlemen when you become an animal or a character in my video game universe there is a very large chance that your animal might do something bad and you know if your chicken were to say misbehave uh, you are going to be punished in the real world as well that's right. If your character screws up my crop planting, you're going to get banned off of every platform I own. <laughs> okay, maybe not that extreme, but, you know, if, if something goes wrong, you get punished in game and in the real world. Like, for example, I remember the last time we played RimWorld, one of the Irish viewers managed to screw up the potato crop. And so we removed his Todger. <laughs> All because he caused the potato blight. Midnight, welcome, my friend. Uh, thank you very much for the $20, my friend. You may be a chicken. And Pyromare, my friend. You can also be a chicken. Pyromare, very fun name for a chicken. Railer for chicken soup. Wow, okay. That's, um... I mean, I don't think we can make chicken soup, but I can turn your trick into a chicken railer. There we go. Right, splendid. I think we have nailed everything. There is a chicken here called Cassandra, but I think I kind of want to keep a chicken called Cassandra because that's kind of fun. Uh, now we just need to make sure all of these beds are actually built in time. We're doing a great job sending lots of love. Thank you very much, TNM. That's very generous of you. Uh, you can have, you can have Matty over here. Do 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 do. 
Martin M. Thank you very much. Akio, you are now renamed to. Do, 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 do. You're now renamed to Killer Frog, which is, you know, kind of kind of inaccurate based on the fact that you're not a frog and in fact a chicken. Um, and then I think that's pretty much all of my chickens renamed, except Kenzo up here. I definitely didn't name a chicken Kenzo. Uh, you are now Corvus. Corvus, there we go. Corvus the chicken. That's a fun chicken name. All right, I think I've successfully named every single chicken. Yep, I have. Fantastic. Now, we're going to be getting a lot of chickens very soon, but for the time being, this is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Uh, right. Guess I'll just speed up and wait for my colonists to actually build the houses that we live in. How? There's only one person on construction. Oh, this is going to take ages. Right, we'll just make sure everyone actually has some priorities to build stuff because, come on, guys, we actually do need to build things. We can't just plant rice all day. Jeez. All right, there we go. They'll actually get building the base now and also the chicken enclosure, which is very important because we want starvation. Colonists are starving. Grey ferret, how are you starving? There is food right here. Are you a potato? Oh, you are a potato because you botched the construction of the wall twice. Jeez, guys. Grey ferret, like, come on. I was expecting greatness from you. I was expecting greatness, but instead, instead, you know... You're just a greeny gorm greedy gourmand cannibal. <laughs> oh, I see. This is why you're starving. It's because you've got basically 150% 150 uh, food rate. And oh my goodness, the first eggs are here. And they're fertilized. Oh, this is fantastic. So fertilized eggs is a brilliant sign because basically each one of these is going to turn into a chicken. It takes uh, 3.4 days, but they turn into a chicken. And they're going to get warmed up by the gigantic steam geyser that's beneath them. <laughs> Oh dear. Okay, well, as long as the chickens are laying eggs, I'm happy. Business is going to be booming. I've got the rice down here, the base up here. Now, of course, biggest issue uh, that we're going to run into, ladies and gentlemen, raids. Uh, we're not exactly built to defend from raids because we're building wooden structures and have a gigantic, you know, chicken pen. And we don't want any of our chickens dying. Chicken lives are more important than colonist lives. If Autumn Sicarius were to die to just a mechanoid invasion, that's fine. But if the legendary Strix chicken here were to die, everyone in the colonists would be punished. We need the chickens to live. The chickens are very important. Very, 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 very important. Equally so are the prisoners or the dead bodies because they need to have their organs harvested. And organs being harvested, very important, ladies and gentlemen. Well, there's a whole bunch, of, a whole bunch of steel over here. We'll need that. Uh, and equally, I think it's important that we do actually set up a power production. So, wind turbines it is. Uh, let's get a first wind turbine over here. It's not being blocked by a tree. And then a second one. The space is already occupied. Oh, yes, you've got to move it over a bit. Perfect. This one is being blocked by two trees, though, so we'll cut them down. There we go. Perfect stuff. Lovely. Oh, and there's one tree there. Chop wood. Okay, now the other thing we're going to need is we're going to need a research bench. So a simple <gasps> shoot frenzy from the grey ferret. Grey friend ferret is now ready to murder things. That's a good sign. Uh, we're going to want that down there. We're also going to need a table, I realize. So let's make sure to actually put down a nice wood flooring all the way in here. Now, all of this can have wood flooring, you know. Let's just put wood flooring everywhere. This will make people happier. Wood flooring, just wood floor it up. Lovely stuff. Everyone gets a bed. Everyone gets a wooden floor. And then finally, we're going to need a table because it's very important to have a table in this game. Otherwise, your colonists go mad and you don't want them to go mad. And we're not building metal stools. Why would we build us? Oh, we're out of wood. Oh, dear. Um... I guess we can build a few steel stools and then we can chop down trees. It's more important that we get a seating area down quickly, though. Right. Architecture and order. Chop wood. Get chopping these trees down, please. Thank you very much. Strix Daddy is most important chicken. Strix Daddy, very important chicken. Strix Daddy is alpha male chicken. Look at this. When T and M meets with Blight Wolf, they together create Chicken Baby. And Chicken Baby 
is money. Chicken Baby is good money, but it's more. It's more than just good money. Chicken Baby can be used to break the AI in this game at fantastically wonderful rates. Um, all right, we got this chicken pen down. Not enclosed build fences. Guys, finish off the fences. Jeez. Come on, it's not difficult. Not difficult at all. Get them fences cut down. Uh, make them cannibalize each other and die painfully. Well, I mean, that will happen. <gasps> Mad turkey! Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, this is bad. So, I'm pretty sure the Mad Turkey will also go after... It will also go after um, the chickens that we have. Consequently, we need to make sure that Verts gets down here ASAP and defeats the Mad Turkey. Right. Go. Kill. Shoot. Can you... Can you hit? Okay, run, 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 run. The turkey's trying to peck you. Run, Verts, run. I think it might actually be faster than you. No, you are slightly faster than the turkey that has been shot. Good stuff. Right, keep going, keep going, keep moving, keep moving. Keep moving, kite them, kite them around. Oh, allow that. Okay, I think you're now almost far enough away. Right, shoot, shoot. Yes, that's a good hit, good hit. Run, 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 run. Oh, beans, you've been pecked. Oh, you've been pecked twice in the torso from the left leg. Come on, shoot it. Shoot the turkey! Good job, good job. Okay, that's our first dead turkey. Lovely stuff. We can butcher that down, turn that into some food. <laughs> At the same time, Vert is technically going to bleed out and die eventually. His left eye crushed. How does a turkey crush your left eye, Verts? What have you done? Go and... Go and sleep in bed. <laughs> Do we have anyone who's uh, who's on medical? Okay, also, yeah, everyone needs to be maximum for bed rest and firefighting, I forget. Um, do to do, do to do, do to do, do to do, and bed rest. And Dexter, you are maximum doctory job. Good stuff. Ah, J-Man, bring in the turkey. Good stuff. Mecha turkey. Honestly, the fact that the turkey is able to jump up and punch and crush the eye of Verts is insane. Like, uh, it, this is probably like a six foot tall man, right? And a female, six foot tall woman versus a turkey that is able to jump up and crush your eyeball. How? Verts can no longer, <laughs> Verts can't really see. Oh no, apparently sight is only 94%. So they can, they can still pretty much perfectly see. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, Jamin, can you please, can you please finish the chicken coop? It is of ve maximum importance that the chicken coop is finished. More importance than the inside tables. Um, do, 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 do. Right. Fingers getting done. Eating food is too complex. Eating food isn't too complicated. It's fine. We can we can manage it. Look at all the chickens coming in. Wooden egg box. Okay, so these are some unfertilized eggs. That's fine. We can have a few unfertilized eggs. These can be used for food. Alternatively, for some reason, unfertilized eggs sell for insane quantities of money. Look, it's $29. Like, how? That's the same as a fertilized egg. It's a bit ridiculous how well eggs sell on the open market. You can generally make great money just from eggs. All right, chop trees, please. Chop trees. And also, someone needs to be on the research. So for research, we need, um, where is it? Batteries, yes. Batteries are the most important thing to research first. Lovely stuff. Hmm. <sighs> Could you name the fastest chicken after me? World line zero, I'll give it a go. But um, it's pretty hard to tell who the fastest chicken is when, you know, they are all pretty much the exact same speed. <gasps> we can release them into the wild. <laughs> I suppose that's what we'll do with the chicken. If a chicken starts eating too much food, we'll just release it into the wild. It can just be a free chicken. What's this ancient bed like? Is it comfy? I don't think it's very comfy. 85 rest effectiveness. I think that's probably better than our regular beds. Uh, no, it's fine. Okay, it's pretty much the same. Okay, right. We'll ignore it. That's fine. Close this. Pen needs to be enclosed. I know we need batteries. I know we need a meal source. Ritual opportunity soon. A ritual opportunity is coming soon for the following rituals. The fiesta of eating in 1.3 days. Well, I mean, the issue is we're probably not going to have any human meat to cannibalize in the next 1.9 days. So I don't think we're going to be enjoying that one. Also, is Grey Ferret naked? Yes, they are topless. He is a topless cowboy 
Right. Why? Why are you not wearing clothes? There's enough clothes. You know, you can wear clothes. There's literally a shirt right here. Why do you not want to wear it? Un uncovered chest. There is clothes for you. Please put on some clothes. <laughs> Why did you just want to be naked? Oh, geez. Some people. Some people, ladies and gentlemen. It is Ram Ranch. What is this Ram Ranch? Ram Ranch is a is a song, okay? You can find the song online. It's a it's a very odd song. It's about naked cowboys. Um it's a it's a meme. I don't recommend people search for it. Um <laughs> But finally we've convinced Verts to actually wear some I know Grey Ferret to actually wear some clothes. This is good. It has finally happened. And can we please finish off the pen instead of doing whatever else we're doing, which is not finishing off the pen. Now, can you cut the trees? Harvest the trees. Harvest the trees. Give me wood and finish the pen. Right, good stuff. Good stuff. Finish the pen. Good. And prioritize finishing the blueprint. Good. Good, 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 good. Look at this boy. Go. Finish that blueprint. Finish the blueprint. Yes, good. Oh, you're not assigned to constructing. Ah, beans. No, you're going to bed. You're not going to bed, my friend. You finish that. You finish that blueprint. Put that wood down and someone can go build it in the morning. Okay, good. We need every chicken in the pen. All of the chickens are going in the pen. Oh, so I don't think the chickens want the trees. So, um, we'll chop the wood in the pen. Like so. We don't really need trees in there. They just want bushes and grass. That'll keep them happy. Bushes and grass. When you open the stream and hear naked cowboys, look, okay, don't judge me. It's a rim it's a game of Rimworld. Everything is on the t everything's on the cards, okay? There's no limits. You can just do whatever you like. Whatever you whatever floats you go, it goes in Rimworld. Oh, I can haul some rubbish right. Haul the rubbish out of it. We don't want just random chunks lying around. Those as well. They can go. I think that's all fine. Lovely stuff. Lovely stuff. Good stuff. Right. Oh, animal disease flu. Eight of the animals have the flu. What the hell, game? How? Oh, my God. Right. Looks like we're burning all of our medicine tending to animals. Who is our designated... Oh, also someone has crashed. A bartender named Gilliman is crashing in a transport pod nearby. Is suffering from paralytic abasia and will be unable to walk. Uh, oh my god. I guess we could just... Uh, we could do something magical with this man. Because we're basically having free food crash land on the colony. Okay, who is designated animal looking after? Um, it's not hunting. Handle, here we go. Right, you are maxed up with handling. But you should probably be the max handler because you're also a doctor. So we combine the both. And now we look after the chickens. Um, right. Now I think it might also be a good idea to put down a sleeping spot for all of the animals. Animal sleeping. Animal sleeping box. Perfect. Wooden animal sleeping box. We don't have enough wood, but it's okay. We will soon enough. Let us designate a good sleeping area for our chickens. There we go. All of the chickens shall have a place to sleep. Because they are good boys. And they need good sleep spot. We can also claim that. Why not? Uh, well, Strix Daddy confirms that he does not have the flu. Good stuff, Strix. This is fantastic news for you. Um, and so is Ryla is also okay. This is fine. The chickens can continue with just you two, if necessary. Starvation. Grey ferret, for goodness sake, eat food. Why are you dying of malnutrition? Just eat food, you idiot. <laughs> there is food here. Oh my goodness. He is literally starving himself to death. Consume the meal. Why are you resting instead of consuming food? Oh dear, oh dear. These two chickens are just busy doing chicken things. This one has the flu. Oh dear, dear. Right, look, hopefully we can treat them all. I think it should be okay. 
Should be fine. But currently we are dealing with bird flu. Why are you relaxing socially when we need to... We need to construct chicken boxes. We need wood, apparently. Okay, we need more wood. Get chopping trees. You're not assigned to plant cutting. Get... You're not assigned to plant cutting. Get chopping trees. You there? No, I want the person, not the chair. You're also not assigned to plant... Who is assigned to plant cutting? Why do we only have one person assigned to plant cut? Okay, a few. We have a few people assigned to plant cutting. But get and plant cut. You know, when there's a job to do, you do that job. You don't just pretend not to do the job. Everyone goes cut down the oak tree. Okay, we need wood. We need beds for chickens. Ah, Randy in that pandemic. I can't believe Randy... Oh, look at this. Dexter's herding chickens. He's bringing them in. He's bringing the chickens in. And it's it's Christian S. The chicken's birthday today. Happy birthday to Christian S. <laughs> the chicken. <laughs> Can we get some happy birthdays in chat for this chicken? My goodness. Oh, goodness. <laughs> Most of these chickens are aged 1 and 44 days. You're 2 and 12 days. You are exactly 1. Happy birthday. Look at this. That's amazing. Right, the chickens are going in. The wood is being chopped. Grey ferret is doing a good job, right? Grey ferret, get constructing. And autumn, get constructing as well. I want as many of these chicken boxes constructed so we can get looking after these chickens. There you go. Look at that. Look at that. Chat is wishing Christy Ness the chicken a happy birthday. Fantastic. We've got, I think, 11 fertilized eggs here, which is insane because... It basically means we're going to have a stupid amount of chickens very shortly. How many chickens can we fit in here? Um, food. Chickens. Oh, wait. Oops. Um, animals. Here we go. Animals. We just want chickens. Okay. Nutrition growth 2.45 per day. Nutrition consumption 1.34. Okay. So these chickens will basically sustain themselves um, because there's enough grass growing in this area that the chickens will just eat the grass on the floor, which basically means this is a fully self-sustaining economy, a perfectly self-sustaining economy, ladies and gentlemen. It just works. It really just works. Right. And are we also researching? Because I realize... We need to get Research Boy doing some researching. Go, Verts. Go read a book or something. After you finish cutting down... The, you can stop cutting down the tree, actually. All right, there you go. Go. Oh, you want to continue cutting down the tree. Okay, you're no longer max priority tree cutter. All right, he's now going to go and teach us how to use a battery. And, oh, look at this. Perfect. The chickens will now start being treated. Look at this. We are treating the chickens... Who have the flu. I don't know how you treat a chicken that has the flu. And I also don't know why the chicken Blightwolf has a stab scar. What has happened to this chicken? Was this chicken involved in organised crime? There is no way of knowing. But it is likely. <laughs> oh dear. And also I forget we have the transport pod arriving soon. Which means we need ourselves a butchering table ladies and gentlemen. Da, 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 da. Because why on earth would you bother saving people when you can eat people? It's so much nicer. And then electric stove. Yeah, we can just pop that there. That's fine. Um, you can also probably whack some batteries in here as well. So if you can use an animal sleeping spot and set it to medical... Yeah, but they can have their own little... They can have their own little good sleepy boxes. Look at this. A good quality sleeping box. Would an animal sleeping box good? Meanwhile, we've got poor quality beds. Most of the colonists are sleeping on poor quality beds. Meanwhile, chickens, they're sleeping on the finest chicken caskets. The great... Oh, this one's awful. Like, well, no one's using this one. <laughs> the chickens don't like that one. Oh, dear, dear. Give the sick chickens chicken soup. That seems a little bit... I don't think that... I don't think that's how it works. I don't think you do that with them chickens. <laughs> right, we're also going to need to build a fridge, I realise, for all of the food we're going to get. So, uh, we're going to make it out of steel, like so. There we go. Because we're going to be getting a large amount of... Uh, 
of you know cold food that we need to store so we will need to do that and equally I think it's important to have lights so we'll get some standard lights all the way through here one here one here one here one here a light here a light here a light here perfect stuff everyone gets a light Also, cut that tree because it's in the way of the uh, the wind turbine. Oh, Mr. Samuel Streamer, have you ever considered turning the barn into a freezer for fresher chickens? Um, no, because the chickens have a purpose, Mr. Samuel Streamer. You see, there's something very magical at the moment in the game where basically, uh, let's say you have a trader arrive. Let's say a goods caravan arrives and they're willing to buy chickens from you. Now, this basically means your chickens then leave your pen and go and sit with the caravan and then the caravan will leave. They'll take your chickens with them. But the thing is, the caravan won't leave until every member of the caravan is ready to go. There's just one minor issue. Uh, not every member of the caravan can go if all you simply do is close this gate. Uh, by closing this gate right here, you stop any of the chickens from leaving. So despite the fact that the chickens are owned by the caravan, the caravan will just stay perpetually right here being like, okay, we can't leave. Not all of our people are ready to depart. We shall stand right here on the caravan parking spot and wait until our new chicken friends come and join us. There's just one issue. Chickens can't leave the pen. So what happens? Well, the uh, caravan waits here, and they keep waiting here, and then they eventually run out of food. They've only got a few days worth of food, so they're still there waiting, waiting for the chickens to arrive. And then what happens? The caravan starves to death. They'll just all die, waiting for chickens. What happens when the caravan starves to death? The chickens stay. So you lose no chickens, you get all of the caravan's goods, and it's also not your fault because the caravaneers themselves starved to death. You are not to blame. You didn't attack them. You did nothing to them. They simply starved themselves to death, waiting for a chicken that would never- a cock that would never come. <laughs> Don't you hate waiting for a cock that would never come? <laughs> I love my job. Um, right. So yeah, there you go. That's um, 1,000 IQ play. 1,000 IQ play. But then you'll be asking, okay, Spiff, okay, that's good. But there's one downside. One downside. You're going to be getting a lot of new goods. A whole bunch of new goods is going to be arriving. Like all these expensive weapons from the caravaneers. What do you do with all those expensive weapons? You can't keep them in your colony. Because what's going to happen? Big old raiders are going to come along and be like, Ooh, I like the look of this plasma launcher you have right here. I shall be robbing you for it. So what do you do? Well, quite simple, ladies and gentlemen. You go to the world map. You click on your base. And you hit form caravan. Uh, you then basically say the caravan to go just next door to you. And uh, this is perfect. Uh, so there you go. You add a caravan there. And then you load things into the caravan. What do you load into the caravan? Uh, basically anything of value. Anything of value. If you have expensive items, whack them into the caravan. Why does this matter? Well, when the caravan is formed, all of those expensive goods are loaded up onto the caravan and taken into the literally just right outside your base. When you're, and because they, the, and because those items are no longer in your base, right, because that makes sense, you know, they're not lying around on the floor, they don't actually add to your base's value. As we can see, our value has increased over time. But the thing is, as soon as the items leave the base, the value drops because they're no longer in the base. So the game goes, oh no, this player's struggling. He did have 30 grand's worth of stuff, so we were going to send him, say, a, ra a raid with free raiders, but suddenly his value has just dropped massively. So what's gonna happen? Well, they send you a raid. They still send you a raid. Just one slight issue. That one raid is going to be tiny. It's gonna be like a regular guy called Craig with a wooden stick, and he can't even walk straight. Um, that's literally what the game does. It's like, okay, we'll just send stuff. I, I know you want a roof. Okay, I'll add a roof in. I'll add the roof in chat. I see you. So basically, you can manipulate the game to never send you a raid at all. Why is it? Oh, it's not building the roof because it needs to build this area first, of course. 
That makes sense. That makes sense. We've got to wait until the freezer's constructed, and then we can have the roof, guys. Oh, who's this? Bartender named Gilliman is uh, is crashing in a transport pod nearby. He is suffering from paralytic abrasion and is unable to walk. He is willing to contribute once he is recovered. Um, his, uh, if you don't want Gilliman, you can banish him, sell him into slavery, or leave him to die. We are going to reject him. And I think he still crashes. Please tell me he still crashes. Nope, he didn't. Oh, what are you? No, he has. He's here. He's right here. <gasps> oh, first willing subject. Look at this boy. Oh, he's perfect. Oh, he's amazing. Right, so what do you do with a special boy like this? Well, most importantly, you need a room for him. So we're going to repurpose this room right here for medical. Uh, and then what are we going to do? Well, you're going to get your best doctor, who is not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. It is you. It is Dexter, right? Dexter's going to come over here and uh, capture Gilman the barkeep. Uh, yes, this is fine. Oh, wait, we need a prisoner room for him, don't we? Okay, this is for prisoners. Perfect. Uh, so we send Dexter over. Dexter, go capture him. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What do you mean there's no reachable... There's a reachable bed right there. It's for prisoners. Oh, I suppose it needs to not be for medical. Right, there we go. Right, capture him. Capture him, there we go. Warning, capturing will anger the faction of Aaron. Do we care about the faction of Aaron? They're neutral with us. Eh. They don't really like us. I think they're going to hate us anyway. I don't think it matters. Dexter, why didn't you pick him up? Dexter, why capture him, please? Your job is to capture him. Come to him and pick him up. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. There we go. He's been caught. He left a poor quality knife. It is rubbish. Have you been doing the holding shift exploit? Instant religious conversions or times free work speed for nine days for every colonist? Wait, seriously? There is a hold shift exploit for that. I have never heard of that, but okay, that's pretty cool. Right, so we now have a brand new uh, colonist here. Say hello to Gilliman, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, who is he? A male refugee. Uh, can we rename him? How do we rename him? We don't get to rename him. Oh, that's a shame. I, I love renaming my prisoners. Is it just because the UI is trapped up here? Potentially. There is no way of knowing. But uh, he is our brand new prisoner. And what can we do with him? Well, we can start harvesting his organs. But first, we must actually run a power line into our base. Otherwise, we can't see him. And if you can't see someone, it makes it quite difficult to take their organs out. Uh, trust me, it is actually difficult to try and extract organs from someone. If they are alive. Oh, yes, it's time for our faction. What's our faction? Our faction is going to be, um, the Cock Traders. Uh, what is our settlement name? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Ram Branch. Yeah! It's Ram Branch time. <laughs> it's perfect. It's everything I wanted and more. Right, so, uh, we are apparently feeding him eggs. I don't know why, but we just fed him an egg. Um... I think that's it's going to be fine. Okay, now we actually have lighting in here. We can do something good. We can actually do an operation to harvest his left lung and then his right kidney and then his heart. Perfect stuff. Right. Now we just need to make sure that he's allowed to actually have our medication and then Dexter Go and perform the operation. Let's get some organs. Yes. Oh, this is the way I like it. Right. Also, I probably want a floor in my... Actually, we can have a concrete floor. A concrete floor in my fridge, please. Lovely stuff. Let's get ready to auger. Organ extraction. Oh, my God, Mr. Samuel Streamer. That is the greatest, greatest name imaginable for a colony. I couldn't... Oh, I can't rename my colony. Organ extraction would have been perfect. Oh, it would have been perfect. Oh. Oh, well, we got some new chickens. Un -new we got a brand new chicken coming. 
as one life leaves us, Aaron Gilman here is having his organs harvested. He's actually quite a good colonist as well. A new life is added. A chicken life, which is of course more valuable than a human life. Although the game will not, not agree with you. But that's because the game's stupid. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for a brand new chicken. Here it goes. Yes, we managed to get the organ. It has upset the people of Aaron even more, but eh. Does that matter? No, not in the slightest. Doesn't matter in the slightest. Happy late birthday, Spiff. Thank you very much, Killzone. Hope you're having a lovely time. Mm. Ah. F12, the name. Is that how you do it? Oh, well. Next time. I mean, he's about to die, so there's not much point renaming him. He is about to die. Right, and it looks like successfully we've managed to create ourselves our food stockpile. So, storage, uh, clear all, foods, and bodies? Corpses? Yeah, we can have corpses in here. Uh, and this is of critical priority. Good. Right, next organ is coming out. Come on, Dexter. You got a, you got a good lung out. A good lung. Oh, he's done it again. It's a kidney, and he's actually improved his medical st stat even more. This is going well. Right, storage. I think we should probably also allow body parts, right? Is it manufactured? Medicine? Well, we can keep the medicine in here as well. Uh, drugs? No. Is it just body parts? Corpses? Human-like corpses? Nope. I always forget where the um, harvested organs are. Reclaimed body parts. No, it's definitely not... Re oh, it, body parts. Natural. Yes, it's body parts. Perfect. Right, Keep the body parts in here. Inspired surgery Dexter. He's going to have an inspired surgery on Gilman. I mean, it's an operation to remove his heart, but because he's inspired, the chance of success is doubled. Maybe he will survive without a heart. Dexter... It was not to be. Um, he is no longer inspired by surgery after ripping a heart out of this barkeeper. <laughs> All right, let's butcher this man. Uh, butcher creature. Details. Human-like corpses as well. And just do forever. There we go. Let us butcher this boy. Jamin, are you taking him off to be butchered? No, you're taking him off to put him in the fridge. <laughs> I can't believe as he was ripping out someone's heart, he was like, Ah, I am inspired to harvest an organ. Yes, this is exactly what I shall do. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and yes, we have our first chicken. It's chick one of the farm animal of the cock traders. Perfect. You are perfect, chick one. Chick one, you are renamed. I know there was people I was going to name first, but, you know, this has to be Mr. Sam Streamer. Represented in chicken form here today, ladies and gentlemen. And this can go back to being a bed for colonists. There we go. Oh, fantastic stuff. Also, I suppose I probably also want power cables running through the rest of my base. So that everyone can enjoy electricity. Will I harvest organs from chickens? Um, No. Oh, wait, do we butcher that man immediately? Oh, that's a shame, because we could have taken legs off of him. Oh, that was actually a waste. We shouldn't have butchered the body straight away, because we can do medical operations on corpses now. Um, I will spam till you learn. Have your convert... Have your convert drafted. Hold shift and spam either work drive or convert. Cooldown won't reset until you let go. What? Is this in... I mean, I haven't messed around with any of the ideology stuff, so... What can we do? Rituals. You'd have a moral leader, a first eater, melee specialist, and a shell holder. Okay. Ethical sculpture, moral... Is it drafting them? No. Okay. Honestly, no idea. No idea. I know there's a way to do stuff, but it's fine. Mr. Samuel Streamer, of course, saying it's good that he's now immortalized as a cock on someone's channel forever. I know. Not just on your own channel. We have created history. 
Also, I realise we need more sleeping spots for the chickens. Um, I suppose we don't need to give all of them incredibly nice... Oh, wait, we can have a ritual spot. Right, ritual spot here, in the outdoors. Uh, we don't technically need a really fancy wooden animal sleeping box. We can just have a regular animal sleeping spot for regular old chickens doing regular old chicken things. Set owner... Oh, the chick one's not even sleep. Yep, I'm a, I don't think you sleep. Oh, congrats, Sam, by the way. It's your birthday today. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, Sam. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Is this cold enough? Nope. Why is this not cold? Oh, target temperature is 21 degrees. Right, let's lower that temperature. There we go. Much better. Much, much better. Now none of our lovely human meat will spoil. Good stuff. Low food. How do we have low food? Oh, we've days worth of food in storage one. Guess we need to start murdering some of the wildlife. Uh, you there, squirrel. You shall be hunted. Um, rat. You too can also be hunted. I swear there was buffaloes on the map. Here they are. B bison. Hunt. 10% chance to attack when harmed. Ah, it'll be fine. Guinea pigs. Guinea pigs. Perfect. They can be hunted. Gavin Barnes donates £10 to say I'm drinking Yorkshire Gold, watching the greatest YouTuber and a fellow countryman. God bless the Queen. Thank you very much for your £10, friend. And also, Bonasti, thank you for $10.69. Groaty for science. Oh my God, look at all the chickens. They just all hatched in there. Why? I thought chickens were meant to be... Where did these chickens come from? Did we take the eggs from here and put them in the fridge? Oh my god, we have so many chickens now. Right. Guess I've got to name a lot of chickens. You are now, um, Gavin Barnes. <laughs> or just Gav. I think Gav the chicken for me sounds fun. <laughs> you are now Bonasti. Uh, I will name you after my, what, one of the greatest RimWorld content creators of all time. It's going to cause me none other than ambig, ambig, US, amphibian. Uh, ambiguous amphib. That works fine. You, Mr. Chicken, are now uh, NJ Smith. There we go. You are now Spectra Grim. Spectra Grim, it's your first time catching a live stream. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Spectra Grim. You need an ideal an ideologian with a converter role active. Make someone moral guidance. Oh, I see. Okay, right. Okay, an ideology with a converter role active. Make someone moral guidance person through the social tab. Draft the newly promoted dude. Hold shift spam convert. Also powers levels of show, social. Wow, thanks, NJ, uh, NJ Smith. I did not know that exploit. That's a good one to know. Um, Tabitha in chat says, can I be a cock? You can be a cock. Although, actually, this is a female chicken, but uh, it's fine. Tabitha the chicken. Are they all female? No, male, 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 male. Oh, my God, they're almost all dudes. They're mostly dudes. Ah, it'll be fine. Um, and Ben Obi. Ben Obi, you should, you should exploit the ultimate meme game, Raid Shadow Legends. Ben Obi, okay, this is my idea, chat. Chat, tell me if I'm... Tell me if this is too insane, but my idea... Okay, is to do a Raid Shadow Legends sponsored video, or just a video, right? Where the only contents of the video is just an ad read. It is just an endless advert for just, um, for just, you know, uh, for Raid Shadow Legends or whatever terrible mobile games. It's just one, like, 30 second Raid Shadow Legends, and then, like, I don't know, a, uh, uh, another advert for something, I don't know, and just more and more adverts loading themselves up over and over and over again, just more adverts, uh, all stacking on top of each other, and just collecting an entire video's worth of money, just like, because sponsored videos pay quite well, but the issue is when you do too many of them, that's annoying, but what if it was only sponsorships in a video? Because I reckon if you guys watched that video, right, 
we could make an insane amount of money and people will just be like, sure, yeah, that's fine. Um, I mean, honestly, like part of me wants to just see if we can do it and then just pay you for watching it. Like if we put enough adverts in the video, is it possible that I could say, give everyone who watched the video, like say, I don't know, or give most of the people who watch the video like $5 or something, just something like that. Uh, right, do until you have 20. Oh no, that's too much. 25, there we go. Actually, we'll go to 30. 30 simple meals is our aim. And now Dexter is taking all of the chickens into the coop, perfect. That's my idea. It's like a, an, an endless, a video that is just adverts. Though package survival meals in the south, you missed them. Yes, there are. Thank you very much, Nyla uh, Arda, for that donation. There are only three of them, but good spot. That is still free meals to be had. Uh, Roman, where are you going? You're going out to, you're going to grab the package survival meal. Good stuff. Uh, we are very much low on food. Someone should really start cooking. But then again, I think we're out of electricity because there is no wind. There is no wind. This is a problem. Please, can we cook food? And I don't think we can cook without power. Who is actually in charge of cooking? Uh, J-Man. Okay, J-Man. Can you cook without power? You cannot cook without power. Can we put you on some kind of treadmill to power the... To power this? You know, actually, if we turn off... Uh, let's turn off all of these lights. Actually, we can cook. Cannot cook simple meal. Needs material. There's human meat right here. Everyone's a cannibal. Bills. Details. Allow meat. All types of meat. Allow animal products. Don't allow fertilized eggs. There we go. Perfect. Right. Now, J-Man, go and cook me some human meat. Prioritize cooking. Yes, it's human meals time. Uh, put down a campfire to cook. We don't want campfires. We want fancy electric stoves. Also, I realize we should probably keep this light on because it is the one that provides, you know, light to the person cooking, uh, which is important. Do, 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 do. Slade, always awesome to catch you live. This box joy. Can I be a chicken? Of course. And hello, Cluckinator. Um, is it really worth selling your soul to raid, even if it's for a joke lol? Uh, honestly, I don't know. Uh, personally, I mean, I don't like the game Raid Shadow Legends. It's not for me. There's like some mobile games that I do actually enjoy, like um, Infinite Lagrange, which has sponsored a few of our videos recently. I do like that game because it's kind of like Stellaris, but relaxed. Um, and I can just dip in and out of it, which I enjoy. Uh, and then there's other games like... Um, uh, do, 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 what am I thinking of? Um, like, like say, Genshin Impact is actually quite a fun RPG. Like, it's got its problems, but there's nothing else really like it. Begin Fiesta of Eating. Ooh. This is quite cool. A celebration gathering of your colonists to have fun. A leader will give an encouraging speech, then everyone will socialize for a while. Depending on the ritual. This seems good. Focus objects, any gathering spot, like a table, ethical platform, ritual spot... Yeah, this seems fun. Let's begin the fiesta. J-Man wants to be the speaker. Expected quality 45. A lectern and a leader present. Oh, we don't have a leader. Yeah, I guess we don't. I guess we don't. Ah, it's still like a... It's like a... You know. Okay, before we do that then, let's build a lectern. Um, do, 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 do. Furniture. Was it misc? A skull spike? Ooh. That seems fun. Giblet cage. Lectern. There we go. Bam. Perfect. Right. So we will make a lectern so that we can have a meeting and talk about how great eating human food is. Name the chicken angler cockatiz. <laughs> I can't. He's called Dexter. We can't rename him. He's already named after someone. Uh, name a chicken Cluck Norris. Oh my god, chat. That's the greatest idea you've had all day. That's amazing. That is actually... You've done a great job. I'm so proud of you. Very, very proud of you. Well done, chat. Well done. J-Man, can you... um? Actually, wait, no, you're, you're not able to do that. Uh, are you able... Oh, you're not assigned to cooking. Uh, J-Man, could you prioritize butchering the rat and the turkey? Because it would appear the turkey is rotting, and I don't particularly want that. 
We did it, Reddit. We did it. Cluck Norris is gonna happen. We're gonna have Cluck Norris, the greatest chicken. In 1.5 days, the next batch of chicken spawn. Oh, that's gonna be amazing. I'm very excited. Very excited for the next batch of chickens. Look at this. We've got some nice, tasty rat meat. Mmm. Mmm. J Man's cooking up a lovely rat meat meal. Mmm. Tasty. Tasty, tasty rat meat. Mmm. Nice ingredients rat burger. Yay. <laughs> oh, dear. If you click on a colonist and go to social tab, there will be an assigned leader button. <gasps> ah, right. But who should be our leader? I'm guessing we logically you want to pick the person with the highest social stats. So I guess that is J-Man. J-Man is our designated leader. Um... Social. Where is it? Wait, where on earth is... Mr. Sam Streamer, I'm a potato. Um, I do not see it. Ah, beans. The resolution cuts it off. Of course it does, right? Let me scale down the UI. UI scale 1.5. Keep. Alright, UI is a little bit smaller, guys. Sorry about that, but it is necessary. There we go. Oh, now I can see the UI. Now I can even rename prisoners. Right, you are going to become moral leader. Required apparel head wrap. Yeah, it's fine. We can make a head wrap. We'll gain the following abilities. Work drive, combat command, trial. Oh, okay. Right, I like the sound of this. So basically you're telling me I can draft him and do an endless combat. Uh, endless, endless combat stuff. <laughs> Strict Daddy, new exploit, loop raid Shadow Legends adverts until they can't afford adverts. <gasps> then no one else has to see a raid Shadow Legends advert. It's just endless quantities of us. We take the entire marketing budget and there's nothing left for them to ruin YouTube with. It's perfect. You click- I hit cancel. <laughs> of course I did. Of course I did. Confirm. He is the new leader. The new leader. J-Man. You are our hero. Welcome. Work drive. Okay, so you're telling me I hold down shift and I inspire them. Okay, so shift. Let me inspire. Who, who do I inspire? Let's go for Grey Ferret. Right, I'm just going to spam shift on this person. And then this person. Right, J-Man. Inspire them. I want you to inspire the ever-living hell out of them. And make yourself the most social being in the universe. Okay, so social stat is 9.39. I'm going to hold down the shift. If this exploit works, this is going to be incredible. Okay, right. So I think we inspired them. We work. We called upon them to be work extra hard. No, there's a time. There's a cooldown, my friend. There's a cooldown. I'm sorry, friend. I was holding down shift. I was holding down shift. It did not work. I'm sorry, friend. Oh, click inspire. Ah. Ah, is it? <laughs> did I click the wrong one? Oh, you need to draft them. Oh, of course you do. Right, well, we'll try again in 10 days. I'm sorry, chat. I'm a potato. Inspire 100. Well, I mean, he didn't increase his social stat then. But maybe he... Actually, he did. I think it was 9.38. 9.38. So he went up a little bit. About 100 experience, which is decent. Um, right, let's actually organize a fiesta of stuff. Uh, so let's begin. The fiesta ritual... Fiesta of eating has begun. Everyone is going to stand here. J-Man is going to talk. What is he talking about? J-Man talked about togetherness. Yes. He spoke about being together. <laughs> Hang on a second, J-Man. That seems pretty similar. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're all gathered here together. I love being together. There is a moral structure to this universe. One where chickens are above men. There is a moral structure to this universe 
One where chickens are still above men. The speech is over and the party is now beginning. <laughs> J-Man, you were quite possibly one of the worst speakers I've ever seen. <laughs> the best speakers usually don't repeat what they've said twice. Um, the eggs. Chicken are above men. The eggs. Get the eggs out of the freezer. Did we? Are we seriously putting... We are actually putting fertilized eggs in the freezer. Storage, can we please not put fertilized eggs in the freezer, please? Thank you, game. Thank you. Get those fertilized eggs. Uh, oh, wait, you're at the Fiesta, so you can't do anything. That's fine. They're doing good. They weren't drafted, so they wandered off to do the next task. You're right. Work drive is times free work speed for nine days. The combat is AOE. Please stop potatoing. Thank you very much. Well, it was a boring fiesta. Everyone felt too awkward to open up and laugh. Everyone in the ritual receives a minus one mood. <laughs> oh, dear. Very lucky. Oh, oh well. Oh, J-Man, you tried. You tried to get the people inspired, but it wasn't. It wasn't for them. Nice try. Nice try, J-Man. Thank you, NJ Smith, as well. Thank you for giving me this exploit, and sorry for beansing it. Uh, also, can we please prioritize hauling the chickens out of the freezer so that they don't put them there? Oh my god. Game. Animal products, none. Do not put animal products in the stockpile. Oh my god. Oh, they can't go back. They can't go back into the egg box. Right, well, I guess they're going in the freezer then. Oh, I, I suppose they can hatch there. Okay, they can hatch there. But they will actually... For some reason, they will spoil. Ah, uh, we'll put them back in the freezer. What? Uh, they can grow. They can grow in the freezer. It'll be fine. It'll be fine, guys. It'll be fine. What's wrong with... You can still grow if you were frozen. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Oh my god, we're going to need more space for the chickens. This is fantastic. We still have enough nutrition growth to counter the chickens. Ambrosia sprout. Oh dear, we don't want any of that. Let us just ignore it. Do, 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 do. How goes the rice? Rice is going okay. Once again, we are out of food. Can we please start butchering food? Please, 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 J-Man, please. We need to also probably start hunting more of these animals. And probably assigning someone to slightly high priority. Dexter, you shall go hunt. You have a revolver. The perfect hunting weapon. J-Man is butchering guinea pigs. The perfect thing to cook with. Oh, I don't think we can actually cook this dead turkey. That's fine. We can bury the turkey later or just wait for it to die. Dexter is running around failing to shoot a guinea pig. Dexter just hit the guinea pig. Dexter, it does not take much. It's Dexter, you potato. It is a... You've given up. How could you... It's a guinea pig. I can't believe you're best to buy a guinea pig. Right, that's... Health. Operations. <laughs> I would harvest one of your organs if you weren't so important with the running of the animals. Um, this is exactly the moment where I would harvest your organs without a second doubt, because... If you can't even kill a guinea pig, what is your purpose in life? Now let us put these batteries down. Very good stuff. Oh, wait, that is not the right spot for a battery. Oh, dear. Oh, it's okay, so if you can do it, it's easiest to have everyone drafted and standing next to each other so your inspired dude doesn't have to walk as far. Nice way of min-maxing it. Very good. Do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, look at all of our amazing chickens. They're absolutely brilliant. I love them. Also, I think we're going to need more power. Yes, I think we will. Right, let us get another wind turbine added in. Why not? Right, you can go... Right here. And I need to cut trees. Chop wood everywhere, please. Thank you very much. Lovely stuff. New wind turbine. We're low on food again. Actually, we have three days worth of food now. We've got five meals in there. We've got a whole bunch of eggs. We've got some rice as well coming in. That is very good. Good stuff, guys. This is good progress. Name a chicken Attila the Hen. That is 
pretty good. That's a good name, chat. I'm proud of you. Once again, guys, if you're watching the stream, feel free. Feel free to like the stream. Remember, you're legally obliged to because this is my birthday stream where everything is about me and how amazing I am. Oh my goodness, aren't I amazing? I know how to control chickens and keep them in a pen. Yes. Consequently, I'm brilliant. I'm quite possibly the best. Simply the best. All right, now let us... Do, 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 what am I thinking we do? I'm thinking we need more space for the pen because I'm I'm aware of the fact that when these chickens grow they're going to need more room to just kind of chicken about in so we'll expand the pen up here a bit um, like so there you go. yeah you can chop down that tree that's fine happy birthday there you go it's over 9,000 likes well done chat thank you very much when we hit 10,000 likes I'll show you something amazing Show you something very magical. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at... And there we go. Right, the pen is dealt with. So now that we've expanded the pen, we can just deconstruct all of this and expand the chicken coop even further to give the chickens more food. <laughs> oh, dear. Andrew Smith, don't worry. You, you are already a chicken, my friend. You're already a chicken. Where is your chicken? There you are. You are here. Right, there you go. Look. Look at this. You're a, a male chicken of two days of age. You need a little bit of food and you like to rest. Perfect. Also, I think we probably want more chicken sleepy spots. So, animal sleeping spots. There we go. I think we probably want to make one of these the, like, medical sleeping spots. There you go, because this way we have a place for the chickens to get sick. They can stay in there, rest up a bit. New lovers, Dexter has wooed Autumn, making an observation about drunkenness. Autumn, uh, <laughs> Autumn became aroused and has agreed to become Dexter's lover. Well, that's um, that's fantastic. Where does Dex Dexter sleeps in here? Okay, I guess we need to reinstall this bed. Actually, we probably want to put them in this room because this room looks a bit better and bigger. Uh, so we will we will do just that. We need to build them a double bed. So there we go. Look at that nice double bed. We can even give them an end table so that their bed is slightly better. Uh, as well as also a nice wooden floor. There we go. A nice, lovely wooden floor. Let us haul that chunk away. Haul those things. Haul these horrible things away. Lovely stuff. And we can smooth down the walls so that they look not terrible. Perfect stuff. Dora the Egg Explorer chat. Okay, these egg puns are literally, literally driving me clucking mad. Ooh, what is this? The Hunted Baron. A baron of the refugee empire is calling from nearby. His guards were killed in an ambush. He escaped but is now being followed by a man-hunting squirrel. Yes, we will look after him. And the reason we want to do this is very simple. Uh, if the Empire becomes our friends, the Empire will come along for tax collection. And if the Empire comes along for tax collection, we can kill their tax collectors by offering chickens instead of money. Uh, and that will basically keep them perpetually trapped out here. Happy birthday. There are free survival meals on the map to the right. <gasps> Thank you, Dean Frechetti, for the most important information we have ever received. Free survival meals on the right. Oh my god, there's an insect nest up here. We're just gonna we're just gonna ignore that up there and just not touch it in the slightest. I can't see the survival meals because I'm blind. Well that's fine. I will just accept that I'm blind and move on with my life. Yep. I'm fine with that. <laughs> oh dear oh dear. Have we got these are these eggs growing soon? Ruined by temperature. Oh. Right, well, I guess we stop storing the fertilized eggs in here. Beans. Well, that's 20 chickens we won't be seeing. I'm sorry, chat. I killed 20 chickens. I'm sorry. We couldn't have kept them here. Oh, where's the, also the manhunting squirrel? Jump to location. Oh, it's chasing this guy down. Wow, it really is chasing this guy down. Right, let's send Dexter out, who couldn't even hit a guinea pig. So he's the right man for the job. Look at this one. Look at this Van Brown. <laughs> Goodness, this is a really hyper-aggressive squirrel. This poor guy. 
is being bruised by squirrels. Where are you going? Where are you going? Wh why are you you're stuck there? What are you doing? Oh my god, he's been dropped. He's actually been dropped by the squirrel. This man is an idiot. <laughs> he can't even defeat a squirrel. Dexter, if you don't defeat the squirrel, I'm going to be very, very upset. Uh, Smith, wall those bugs off. Else colonists will... Ah, uh, colonists won't go over there. It's fine. Dexter, hit the squirrel! Dexter, you, how did you not hit the... You stunned him. That's good. And again, and once more. Once, good job, good job, Dexter. I can't believe that you got bruised by a squirrel. And can you not leave this guy... Oh, he's gotten back up. Ah, it's fine. And can we please take... Oh, that squirrel's already rotting. Ah, we'll leave it. Oh, the shuttle's arrived. Perfect. Right. Uh, Michotes. Load. Get on that thing. Get on the boat. Right, perfect stuff. And apparently we've detected an ancient danger in here. That's fine, we just don't need to open it up. Yet. Uh. My god, that squirrel. Your wind turbines are blocked by rocks? I... Don't think wind turbines get blocked by rocks. They only get blocked by trees, uh, and so yeah, this is fine. But these, trust me, I've seen these wind turbines operate at max capacity. They're just operating like this because there's not as much wind. Right, major break risk. Machotas. Well, it's fine. He's getting on the shuttle. We don't need him to be mentally sound. And there we go. Fantastic. Freeholder title gained, and J-Man is now a yeoman. Uh, right. Let us assign this bed of poor quality to autumn and uh what is it not autumn is it dexter and oh do, are they not allowed to sleep in the same bed no slaves in colonies so they're upset awful bedroom so they're upset. oh so even though they're lovers they don't want to sleep in the same bed oh cool well that, I, I guess that simplifies things that really does simplify things, actually. That's fantastic. Yep, your religion might prevent them from sleeping together until marriage. Ah, that's fine. That's fine by me. All right, let us reconnect all of this. There we go. Turn on all the power for these rooms so that they do not look so terrible. And then give them some nice furniture. I think everyone can have a little a little wooden plant pot in their bedroom. Uh, just to make it look a little less terrible. There we go. Everyone can have a little plant pot. Then everyone can also have a little, little end table. There we go. Little end table. Just to remind them of the nicer things in life. And that their bed isn't the worst thing in the universe. And also we've got all of these organs we need to sell to people. Look at all these lovely organs we've got. Very excited by the organs. Oh, exactly as planned. Chat, please, can you stop it? Chat, please, no egg, no more egg puns. No more egg puns, please. Please, Dexter needs treatment. Dexter, heal yourself. Prioritize tending yourself. You've been bruised by a squirrel. You, you'll be, you'll live. A squirrel that you should have shot about 700 times. But for some reason you have the aim of a potato. <sighs> Why are we egging you on? Chat, stop it. These yolks are excellent. Chat, please. I will not explain my reason for hating the egg puns. They don't exactly make me ecstatic with joy. <laughs> I'm gonna go mad. I genuinely this is just gonna I'm gonna go insane just from the egg puns. Oh dear oh dear. I love my job, but also I hate my job. No, I love my job, it's great. <laughs> it is the best. Oh dear oh dear oh dear. Are these puns excruciating? <laughs> <laughs> yes, the puns are excruciating, chat. Oh my god, that one's the best. That one is the best. You can you can pat yourself on the back for that one. That was actually brilliant. <laughs> oh my god, excruciating. Okay, so I think the daylily here makes the rooms look nicer. So um, what is this? Uh, what is this room like? Awful, uh, because it's rather tight, somewhat poor, and ugly. 
But I guess that can be fixed by tidying up the dirt. Um, this room also is just a case of dirt. This one's awful because it's cramped. This one is awful because it's impoverished. I suppose we can fix up the floor in this one. That's fine. Give it a nice bit of wooden flooring. Wooden flooring here, here, here and here, and also here. There we go. That Just tidy up the rooms just a little bit. So I realise we definitely need another light in this room. <laughs> this is far too dark. Right, standing lamp here. And we can also have another light here. Why not? So this one can be turned on again. And Vert's room is dull. Okay, that's not the worst. This can have an end table and a dresser. That's the worst position for a dresser, but it'll be fine. Smith, the meals are in the middle right at the very edge of the map. <gasps> I found them! Yay! Thank you, chat. I'm blind without you. I'm blind. <laughs> oh, you saved me. Dexter is fully healed. Yay! Good stuff. All right, these eggs are hatching in 21 days. Good, 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 good. Draggy, thank you very much for the one dollars. Oh, French egg puns make me go if. <laughs> Honestly, I don't like. Okay, the French language is a very interesting language, but the one thing I will never understand is why you would call an egg a if. Like, why? It makes no. What like? What makes you look at an egg and go? Ah, yes, le oof, oof, oof. It's, it's just, it's an egg, guys. It's egg. Egg makes sense. Oof, not makes sense. No, no sense. No sense. Colonists on a mental break will cross oceans, ignore forbidden doors, and try to hi try and heist the insect jelly. Oh, you're right, they will. They will try and steal the jelly. Well... I guess we can we can put a wall up there. Not a steel wall, wooden wall. Bam 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 bam. And then bam bam bam. And then can't build there because that's the edge of the map. Bam bam bam. Now we just have to be careful when the colonists build it, because there's a very high chance they'll just wander straight through here and activate the uh, activate the hive, and we do not want that. Just got to keep an eye on there. Uh, Spam Viking, is it more beneficial if I sub uh, on YouTube or Patreon? Um, I'd say at the moment uh, it is a good idea to sub on. What are you doing? Ah, oh, what are you doing? That is the wrong direction. You idiot. <laughs> Okay, right, they sorted it out. They sorted it out in the end. Roman, you almost died. You are a potato. But it is it is actually also already done. Uh, I think it is better to serve on Patreon at the moment because I'm doing a, a, a couple of videos where... Okay, so the, you can get a little... Oh my goodness, 10,000 likes. Okay, this is what you get for 10,000 likes. I'll tell you about a video we're doing. Um, so there's a game called Marble World, right, chat? It's basically you can build your own marble runs and race them off, and they're amazing. They look beautiful. Um, however, we've done something magical in the world of Marble Run. We built a marble marathon. Um, it is a marble run that lasts around about uh, around about 15 minutes, I'd say. About 15 minutes is how long it takes to actually finish the marble run. Um, and after you finish the marble run... Ooh. What are you shooting? Oh, you're shooting rats. After you finish the marble run, the idea is that all of the marbles are named after Patreons, right? And so the Patreon who wins, brackets their marble wins, uh, receives a, a prize, is the idea. Like, I don't know, like 500 quid, a grand, I'm not too sure yet. Um, so the idea is that, yeah, we uh, we name marbles after Patreons and race them around a marathon course uh, just to see who wins. Because I, I think that would be fun. No one else has done it on YouTube. I just think it would be interesting. Uh, it's my kind of weird video that I'd like to see others do, but they don't do, so I'm just going to do it myself. Uh, strawberry plant? I like strawberries, honestly, they're fun. And then, seeing because we have, like, idle colonists at the moment, it just makes sense. 
to put down some extra space you can be you can be potatoes they yield well and then finally i guess we can get to work advancing our structure out a bit like we could actually turn this into a production room like so um and maybe also build build a production room over here maybe maybe like an art room we could use to make art in that'd be a smart idea a wooden door here and then production inside we'd like a art bench perfect and then it can even have a chair nice wooden chair bam so yeah that's the idea so we'll name uh, we'll name marbles after patrons and race them around the course because i think i think that would be enjoyable <laughs> this is the kind of weird stuff this is like when i say i want to do videos that no one else can do on youtube because then they just wouldn't this is exactly it <laughs> This is exactly the kind of weird stuff that I like doing. <gasps> Inspired Creativity Roman. <gasps> Perfect. Oh, eight days. Right, we've got eight days to build this art bench for him. Is he good at art? He is okay crafting. Pretty sure crafting's art, right? Bio. No, he's one in artistic. Uh, it'll be fine. He can, he can try and do a bit of art with his art skill of one. Um... It'll be okay. It'll sort itself out. Uh, this is going quite well. Vertz is spending ages on that chair. Come on, just finish the chair. Finish the chair. Oh, there we go. He's no longer inspired by creativity. What did he make? He made a masterwork dining chair. <laughs> this is called Death with a Rooster. The furniture bears a portrayal of a rooster crouching next to a fire with a visible rash. Seven fly-ridden pelican corpses surround the area. This, represent this representation relates to the rooster being stricken with the flu on the 9th of April, 5500. Why a chair? Why couldn't you have made art for me? Why a chair? It's only $185. This masterwork chair is worth as much as like five eggs. Just... Oh, God. Okay, who is artistic? J-Man is artistic, right? J-Man, you appear to be literally good at everything, but that's fine. Make a bloody image is this the kind of thing that we'd like i think this is the kind of thing that my colony would enjoy yeah let's make a bloody image let's make one nice bloody image after you know finish cooking some meals or something oh dear oh dear can we research stuff as well is a turret a good i don't think we really want turrets i think we can just do it manually like, we haven't even been hit by a raid so yeah we're fine oh my goodness 22 eggs 22 eggs now. This is really good. There's a lot of eggs. Chairs can be art. A chair is not a piece of... A chair is for sitting on. Quest available a special trade. Uh, a nearby settlement marrow is a special trade. They would like to purchase 24 components worth 768. Uh, and in turn we can get a... 30 goodwill... An invisibility side trader, an aesthetic nose, 21 gold, or a masterwork assault rifle and a low shield pack. Ooh. 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 24 components. We've not got enough components. But I reckon we could. Um, right. Deconstruct that crash ship chunk. And let's get mining. If we can get the components, like the components, if we can get some components mined out in time, we'll give it a go. But there's a good chance we won't be able to, so it's just not going to be worth it. But a masterwork assault rifle would be quite nice. Um, 
we're not getting the aesthetic nose chat. We don't we don't need the aesthetic nose. Can you harvest the organs of chickens? No, but someone needs to make it so. Um chat make a mod so that I can harvest the organs of chickens. It is of critical importance to me because I think it would be cool. This bedroom's dull. This one's mediocre. This one's mediocre. This one's dull. This one's dull. This one is dull. Uh, it's not the worst. Uh, it, could, uh, it could be better, but this is good. At least they're not going to have mental breakdowns because of it. Right, why are you upset? No slaves in the colony. Denied joining. Uh, want a moral leader apparel. Unsightly environment and recreation deprived. Oh, they don't have the old stick and pin. They didn't have a stick and pin. Everyone needs a stick and pin. Jeez, just hoop stick. Everyone needs the horseshoe stick. Otherwise, you go insane. <laughs> I'm afraid the tea plants mod, I don't think it's updated for 1.3 yet, which is why I couldn't use it. Um, because, you know, Rimworld is slightly janky. Oh, it's summer. Yay. <gasps> Look at this big old bison. Look at this big boy. He's perfect. He'll do great. Right, J-Man. Um, when you're awake, I think I'd like it if you could do this horseshoe and then make art in a pitch black room. You know what? I will be generous and I will give you a standing lamp. That's just how generous I am. Ah. <sighs> We do not have any more chickens just yet. They are on their way. 1.7 days, chat. 1.7 days. How many chicken hearts to replace a human heart? We can make this work. But when you think about how big a chicken is and how big a human is, I mean, there are some people whose hearts are probably so big they're as big as a chicken. Uh, like a full-size chicken. So, J-Man, can you please build the stick and pin? People in the, the People need the stick. There we go. Now people can hoop stick. Look at them. They were declined the joy of hoop stick. And now the recreation is coming in. Everyone is enjoying life. There we go. First eater roll unfulfilled. Oh, does someone need to be first eater? And we also need a research project. Oh, there's so many things we could be doing. Oh, do 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 do. Ah, right. J-Man, I think we have enough meals for the moment, so I'm going to suggest that you go and do some art for me, because it's important to get art underway, because art improves, is, improves the quality of the rooms, and a good room is the best way to stop people going mad. Um, actually, I suppose we could, should create a designated eat room. So for that, we'll want a wooden wall here, here, and a wooden door. Uh, and this can be the designated eating room. And we can have... Not really a paved tile. We don't really have any nice... Yeah, we don't really have any nice um, floors that we could put down. Yeah, it'll be fine. Yeah, it'll be fine. Oh. Right, now this is a dining room, which is dull. But if you make the dining room nice, people will be happy. Oh, we've completed a sculpture. It's called Bloody Image. Uh, it is good. Uh, it is related to neo-ethics. Uh, the art is a depiction of Dexter Shaw smacking Aaron Gilman. Oh, he was the uh, he was the colonist who we butchered. Dexter is laughing as tears well up in Gilman's eyes. The representation tells the story of Dexter capturing Gilman. Well, that's pretty morbid, but I think it works perfectly. Uh, let us put it down in the eating room. <laughs> we captured that boy and we turned him into food. And oh my goodness, look at all of the eggs we're laying. So many eggs. Oh, this is going to go so well. So, so well. Oh, yes. And we're still, yes, we might want to expand the pen in a little bit um, to encompass more of an area. Because uh, we will always need more space for the chickens. So, what is this? Deconstruct that. Deconstruct this. Deconstruct the kitchen sink. Um, deconstruct that. We can just build the pen out this way and up. And this should add a bit more food for them to, you know, eat. 
So the chickens are happy. That, that statue is the best named statue in all of RimWorld. Bloody image. Brackets bloody image. Title bloody image. <laughs> J-Man, you know, you might not be the most eloquent speaker, but you do know how to make a nice bloody image. And now we have a slightly impressive dining room. Nice. I wonder if this actually has like an air of effect that makes people happy. Like is it um, initial hope, extremely comfortable, moderate expectations, right? If you come into here, how does it feel? Nope. No, you don't get a magical bonus for it, but it is kind of cool. I suppose we could have another bloody image. There's nothing wrong with having too many sacrificial monuments put everywhere. Ah. Happy birthday, Chick Astley. We need Chick Astley. I agree, we need Chick... Give us Chick Astley. Look, you will have Chick Astley with time. But the chickens are ready in 0 0.9 days. You have to wait for the chicken to be ready. I can't just summon a chicken from thin air. That's not how this works. The chickens arrive exactly when they're meant to arrive. Uh, right, wooden fence. Do -do 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 -do. Uh, do -do 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 -do. Wait, are these all slate walls? Marble walls? Slate blocks. Oh, this is fine. After we build this pen, we'll deconstruct all the marble walls. Because uh, we might be able to make a nice house out of them. How many components have we got? 26. Ah, we don't need to do the quest. I wanted 24. Is a masterwork assault rifle really worth it? Probably not. It'll be fine. We'll manage without it. We've got stuff. Ancient concrete barriers. We don't need them. Uh, you are a steel wall. You're useless. There is a granite urn, though. We can claim that and reinstall it somewhere. Let's reinstall it in Dexter's bedroom. Um, any other abandoned structures? A bed? Nope. Nah, some sandstone. Sandstone's not the best. All right, we've got some idle colonists, so what you can do with that is just get them to mine out a wall. Uh... Actually, wait, we can set up a production. I've realized we can have a... What is it? Stonecutter's table. There we go. Nice stonecutter's table. This way... Do, 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 do. Steel stool. Oh, wait, are we low on steel? We're really low on steel. Okay. Let's get cutting up some steel, then. Cancel all of this. Let's get some steel harvested. All right, and this has all been finished, which means all of this can be deconstructed, ladies and gentlemen. Deconstruct everything here. Perfect stuff. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Now the chicken enclosure will expand even further. And oh my god, look at this! Look at all of the chicks! We're up to 22 chickens need names. <laughs> right, you are now Draggy76. Draggy76. Okay, chat. Let's get naming. Chick Astley. Cluck Norris. <laughs> oh, God. I just want a chicken also called Earth after the French. Um, Earth? No. Earth, there we go. Uh, Hengus Khan. Oh, I like Hengus Khan. Hengus Khan. That's pretty good. Uh, chick Free. Uh, so clucks a lot. Oh, so clucks a lot. I like. Chat, you've got some good names. Really good names. Nai Zimarcules. Okay, this is quite a complicated one. Uh, <laughs> King Cock. Okay, right, fine. <laughs> King Cock. There we go. Fine, there we go. It's job done. Um, Paco wants one. Paco, you can have one, my friend. There we go. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Spam Viking. Spam Viking, my friend. Spam is a incredible food. Really magical. <laughs> magical food. Uh, Camilla. You want a chicken called Camilla? Okay, you can have a chicken called Camilla. This is Camilla the chicken. I thank you, verified person in chat who went by so quickly I couldn't even read their name. <laughs> Chickpea! Oh, chickpea's good. Chat, you got some good stuff here. Chickpea. Oh, that is good. That one is. Okay, I'm impressed with that one. Uh, Victon. Ah, oh, Victon. I know, Rye Victon. Rye Victon. Bam. Scroll on down. Ernest Henningley. Oh, that is actually terrible. That is actually the worst name I've ever seen. I can only have Ernest Henning. There we go. <laughs> I'm amazed it actually fit on. Um, Kylo Hen. Oh, my. <sighs> I think we're going to get copyright struck by Disney for that. Uh, Drago Gamer. You're in. Drago Gamer. Bam. Oh my dear lord, there's so many chickens. Chicken dumplings. Okay. Chicken. Wait, no. Chicken little. There we go. You're in. Chicken dumpling is going to come in as well. Yorkshire Gold. Oh my god. Okay, right. Can we please mod that man in chat who just recommended Yorkshire Gold? Yorkshire Gold. That is amazing name for a chicken. And also I wanted, um, I did want one chicken called um, Gigacock. Uh, wait, no, not Gigacock. Monstercock. After the, it's a reference for hat films, okay? And the four people who watch them. Um, the Spiffing Chick. Oh, that's cute. Thanks, chat. Spiffing Chick. Good stuff. Do, 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 do. Surf Fluffles. Oh, Surf Fluffles. I like that, chat. Super Deathclaw wants to be a chicken. Super Deathclaw, you can be a chicken. Thank you very much for the $5. Super Deathclaw. Bam, 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 bam. Got any more chickens? I've got... One last chicken, I think. No, two more chickens. Okay. You are... Hen Kenobi. That's actually even worse. Hen Kenobi. And final one, chat. Make it good. Final chicken. Going to hold out for a good name here. Uh, Margaret Hatcher. <laughs> <laughs> perfect. <laughs> That's actually perfect. <laughs> now we need to kill her. <laughs> Finally, I can kill Thatcher in a video game. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> oh dear, that is actually amazing. Oh, God. I'm so proud. I'm so proud of you, chat. That is really good. Now, we've got all of these marble blocks that we've just got from basically um, destroying the floor. Uh, this allows us to put down some marble tiles. Um, oh, wait, no, we want marble flagstone, which is... I think it's the best. They look... They're pretty to look at, but they take a long time to lay. No, it is a marble tile. Yep, we want a marble tile. Uh, it's not marble, is it? No, it is. It is marble blocks. Wow. Oh, we've only got slate in stock. Okay, well, I'll wait for them to get hauled over so I can see how much we actually have before I start going a bit crazy. Oh. Hmm. Ah, uh, hello, John Moore. Restrict Hatcher to a mine. <gasps> Are we able to actually restrict individual individual hens to a zone? Are we able just to put Margaret Hatcher in a single mine? No, just Margaret Hatcher in a single pen by herself next to the insects. 
so she can be with her so she can be with her reptilian kind <laughs> oh, I'm so proud look at all of these amazing chickens we've got they're beautiful they look really cute as well oh I'm so happy I'm really happy with what we've got what is this is this a marble door yeah it is a marble door wow that's um that's a bit lavish we've got all this bison meat oh we've got food for days infinite food here won't spoil this thing needs to get dumped this turkey um am i able to get rid of it no i can't sadly oh it's can not can oh yes i've you're right the h needs to be the other way around i'm terribly sorry about that i have mistyped I know a YouTuber making a spelling mistake unheard of, ladies and gentlemen. Report him to the YouTube boss. Um, there is a YouTube boss, right? We have a boss. Please tell me. I have. A, I work a real job, and I have some kind of importance. Please, please. <gasps> Marble flagstone. Oh, I think we can disassemble that too. Deconstruct. No, we can't deconstruct the floor. Ah, it's fine. Oh. Dearest Spiff, I humbly request that this uh, that this gift of British pounds um, names a chicken Hannibal Lecter. Well, we got some more chickens on the way. Two point one days or one point seven days until we get this chicken. Oh. And then that is when the cluckening begins. The great cluckening. Have we actually also got enough food for all of these chickens? Nutrition growth three point six. Nutrition consumption three point three six. Ah, uh, when these chickens grow up, they're going to need more space. <sighs> right, we're going to have to start expanding them south. Um, I think. Yeah, so. Wooden fence. Down south you go here, and along here. And up like so. Steel knife has deteriorated. Ah, it was a terrible steel knife. We didn't need it. Deteriorating because outdoors. Uh, I suppose we can we can wall it off. There you go. Look at that. There you go. Bam. Wooden door. Look at that. Storage is now walled off. And build a roof here. Perfect. Now we want to add bill make uh, marble blocks, please. Do forever. If you have nothing else to do. Oh, right now do we have we have 43 marble blocks stored up which I think is enough to create that is 36 okay that gives us some room for if someone botches a construction or two and we've almost built the new pen as well oh and we can hunt a rat lovely oh and there's a cougar there's a cougar get it out of the chicken pen get that out of the chicken pen it's got a 50% base chance to fight back right everyone Militarize yourself. I want everyone here to fight that chicken. Right, get everyone together. Right. You need to all attack that chicken. Sorry, the cougar. Can you please, can someone hit it? Right, Roman. Run back, run back, run back. You're the bait, you're the bait. Run, 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 run. Bait, run, run bait. Yes, good. Yes! We did it! We saved the chickens. Ah. Oh. Mark Cram says, I'm the cougar. Fine. Mark Cram, this cougar is you. And do you want to know what we do with cougars who try and eat our chickens? That's right. We summon J-Man. And we send him to butcher the cougar. Rest in peace, Mark Cram. You're with us for two seconds. The cougar wants some cocks from <laughs> from Ram Ranch. <laughs> of course it does. Of course. Right. Let us deconstruct this fence. We can now expand pen. Oh, perfect. More chicken space. I'm amazed we haven't had a trader yet. Where is the trader? I would like to sell some chickens to you, please. Let me sell you chickens. Please, game. Please, let me sell chickens. 
And get back to work, J-Man. No rest for you. And, okay, right, now with that expansion. Yes, more nutrition growth. 4.76, good. Because the issue is when these chickens grow up a bit, um, they start eating more food. Eventually, this entire map might just become a chicken farm. Chicken overpopulation? No, it's fine. Also, I think I have an idea. I think... I think we can actually grow food in here, and I think that, um, I think it might actually increase the, the, like, nutrition rate here. So if we were to grow rice, is it hay grass? What is this? Hay is edible for animals, but not humans. Okay, sure. Let's get some hay grass, I guess. The chickens can just eat it. Um... That'll be fine. Uh, stuff grows faster here anyway. It's got 140% fertilization. Um, and have we almost finished this? Almost. 120 works left. Okay, so tomorrow we'll get ferrets another sculpture and we can put it in Grey Ferret's room because he's currently soaking wet and ate without a table. There's a table right here, you idiot. You can just eat here. Greedy for impressive bedroom. Ugh. Oh. Of course you're going to be one of those people. That's fine. I suppose it was going to happen eventually. We have to smooth out this surface and make the bedroom better for you. Michael Jackson. Okay, that is literally the worst. <laughs> Alexis Maxis D says, uh, Alexis Maximus says, please name the chicken pen, pen 15. How do I? How do I? I don't think I can name it. I don't think I can name it. Pen marker one. How do I rename pen marker one? Oh well, I'm a potato and I can't work it out. Do 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 do. Oh, I also realised there isn't really much of a reason to actually have a fence gate here, considering colonists can just walk over the fence. Oh, oh, I thought we just had some more chicks for a moment. I was going to go absolutely wild. Do, do, do. More minor break risks. J-Man, why are you having a break risk? Did you finish the sculpture? You did. It is another sculpture called Bloody Image. What does this represent? This piece resembles three eggplants. The subjects are in front of a thousand ellipses. <laughs> Great, right. Let's put it in Grey Ferret's bedroom so he stops complaining. Right, look, now, is your bedroom better? There you go, slightly impressive. Are you happy now? Are you going to stop complaining? Yes, fantastic. Right, let's go to that beauty map mode. Oh. We can also deconstruct these ancient kitchen sinks and beds. I don't think the chickens are going to be using them. <laughs> Something tells me it's not for the chickens. Oh, these chickens are inbred as hell. It's fine. The game doesn't have an incest mechanic. Everything is going to work out okay. Look, there's nothing wrong with incest if your universe doesn't simulate it. Uh, it's perfectly fine. <laughs> yes. Right, I think we could probably get another b bloody image going. Seeing as we're doing so well actually just pumping them out. We can just start improving these bedrooms. Rice Taylor says, Nothing better to wake up to than spiffing Brit on RimWorld. I'm shaking like heck from the vaccine, but hopefully this will make me feel better. Hope you're doing good, mate. Did, I'm guessing you probably had your second vaccine, because your second one is generally when most people get, like, you know, slight flu-like symptoms and get knocked out for a couple of days. For me, the first one, um, I think it was the first vaccine, really made my arm sore for about half a day, and then the following day I was fine. Uh, but yeah. I generally just drink a lot of water and you're fine. <gasps> Raid from the nightclubs. <gasps> do, 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 do. Oh my goodness, they've actually got stuff. Oh my, they actually have weapons. Look at that. Uh, oh no. Looks like they're literally coming right for us. Right, everyone? Draft. Get over to the pen wall. Do, 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 do,
Actually, I suppose we can go on the offensive. Like, we could attack them. Right, stand around this car. Yes, perfect. Can we please try and hit stuff? Game. I suppose Autumn doesn't have a weapon, and neither does J-Man, so they might as well just walk back. Roman, you can just run in. Oh my god, Dexter just got shot in the head. Oh my god, right. Dexter, get out of there, please. I can't deal with you dying. Right, there's only Diver left. Go knife him. Knife him. He's down. <gasps> we did it. Okay. That was kind of rough. A lot of injured peoples, but that is actually not the worst that could have happened. Right, we do actually need to put down a place for prisoners. So I'm just going to whack them in here. So let's make them for prisoners. And away we go. Good stuff. I felt like I just got a phone call then. Nope, I did not. Okay, all is good. Oh, right. Three shooty boys were very mean to us. Death in six hours. Nice. What about you? Extract skull. Yes. You, we need to strip you, and we need to strip you. Uh, Roman is actually the uninjured one, so he should go and start stripping people. Uh, Dexter needs to look after him, himself. Prioritize tending to yourself, Dexter. And then please look after everyone else, because otherwise everyone will die. You were the only trained medical professional. Right, Roman, strip him. And strip him. Oh, no, don't take his skull away. Strip this guy first, please. Thank you. All right, we'll take that gun. We'll take that gun. You might as well grab it, actually. Grab it. And then also probably capture them. Thank you. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, just a quick reminder from chat to say, remember to get your cup of tea, guys. Yes, get the get your warm cup of tea. You will need it, ladies and gentlemen. It is always important to have a cup of tea. Dex is doing good. He's running around tending people. Medical emergency. Shorty is about to die. We got three hours. Ah, he doesn't need. He doesn't need um, doctor care, but no medicine. Fantastic. Right. Yes, we can just heal him with bare hands. Heal him with your bare hands, Dexter. And Roman, instead of helping anyone, has just gone to just lay on the... Just start cutting up some stone chunks. Oh, dear, oh dear. Right, there we go. We're tending to Shorty. Fixing, fixing him up a bit. Major break risk from Dexter. Dexter, please. Now is not the time to have a break risk. Right, there you go. You saved this person's life. Um... Oh my goodness, we've almost actually completely filled our our food space. Are we hauling that person back? Roman, I thought you were meant to haul the other prisoner back. Did you? Oh, the prisoner only made it to here before they died. Ah, that's fine. We'll extract their skull. Low Nectary says you cure my depression. Please, never stop, please. I won't stop, don't worry. But one day you might, you know, move on. And you want other people to entertain you, not me. And that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Don't worry. I understand. I understand. There, are, There's more than just me out there in the universe that you need to watch. It is fine. All right, let us get a lamp in here because we are going to need to do a medical operation to steal this person's limbs. Uh, we can administer smoke leaf joint to them. <laughs> get them high and then we remove their organs. <laughs> Although I suppose the, uh, for some reason we want to recruit a slave, right? Enslave. Wardens will threaten the prisoner to reduce their will. Once they have no will left, the warden will enslave them. Okay, that seems good. I mean, most of our colonists want slaves. They seem very upset that we don't have any, so, um, I guess we need one. And we also need a first eater, so... Who do we make first eater? I guess Jamin can't be first eater. We should probably make Dexter first eater, seeing as he's actually making the food. Uh, first eater. Requires the following apparel visage mask. Okay, that's fine. We can have our first eater. And we will need to make a... Well, we just took that person's head right off. Cool. <laughs> Great. <laughs> 
I guess we should probably do with some uh, graves because we just removed a whole bunch of people's heads. Let's get some graves down. Lovely. We'll need those. But now we have skull totems. Head Pikachu. Late happy birthday. Hope the slavery goes well. Thanks, Head Pikachu. Head Pikachu, how would you like to be? Uh, I can't rename this person until I enslave them. That's fine. We can do that. We will take control of them. Yes. Oh, transport pod crash. A random person called BB has landed. They are injured. They are not part of any faction. Nice. Mind-shattering pain. It looks like the second... The second slave has just arrived, ladies and gentlemen. What excellent news! Perfect. Absolutely wonderful. Oh, yes. And look, the grass is growing really fast. Look at that. Very good stuff. Good stuff. Let's also get rid of that tree and this tree. Because that will make room for, I think, more food for them. I think that's how it works. And also, I think we have even more chickens arriving in 0.2 days. Which is slightly insane. Uh, but it will be fine. We are yet to have a trader. I am amazed we have not had a trader. But we have not. Do, 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 do. Right, you once again have no medical treatment and you shall be enslaved. Perfect stuff. And also, I think we want a crafting spot. Um, which is in production. Just a random crafting spot. And the reasoning is simple because I think we can make, make a veil. Yep, which is what one of our peoples want. Uh, and yes, we can make it from the wool and cloth that we have lying around. And oh my goodness, we need a bigger fridge. Or we just need to start making more food, actually. That'll that'll probably solve it. But let's make um, 50 more meals. <laughs> and also, have we got anyone who's any good at tailoring? <gasps> and oh, Dexter can preach health and counsel people. There's a chance success depends on the speaker's social... Oh, and reassure. <gasps> oh. Yes, and convert. I wonder if we can do the same exploit then that we could do with J-Man, which we can do right now uh, in about two hours. One hour. One hour, right. Are we ready for exploit, ladies and gentlemen? In 0 .0 0.6 hours, we're going to supercharge the colony into madness. And oh my God, the chickens have spawned everywhere. We're going to need to start killing a couple of these chickens. But then again, we don't need food. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? This is a problem. Okay, right. Let's just get everyone, uh, anyway. Draft them up. Get everyone here. J-Man. J-Man, my friend. It is time. It is time to initiate the work drive. Work drive. Okay, so I guess I just hold shift, click work drive. Let us go. Work drive them. Yes, drive him full of work. I'm holding shift. I don't think it worked, my friend. I'm sorry, I don't think it worked. I think only Autumn has been driven by work. Is it in health it would be? Log. Uh, J-Man pursued Autumn play... For oh, wait, no. J-Man, who did you actually talk to? J-Man called upon Verts to work extra hard for the colony. I'm sorry, friend. Exploit does not work. We tried. We tried. Does not work. I'm sorry, friend. <sighs> right, now we have a stupid amount of chickens again. Do we keep them? I mean, we kind of have to. We, like, the entire exploit relies on people coming to our colony to take these chickens away. And so far, no one has arrived. Uh, and I suppose we do need more. We, the chickens are just going to keep consuming more and more space. This is the only problem. Like, they are just endlessly expanding. But it'll be okay. It'll be fine. We'll just keep expanding with the chickens. Why not? 
Why not? We can just let the chickens expand more. They're big old special boys. We can give them more space to grow. And there's about seven bajillion more chickens to name. How is there 11k likes but only 5k people watching? Magic, friend. Magic. Watch this, okay? Person who just said that question. Everyone like the stream right now. Now what you're going to watch is the like count is going to go up about like 100. And then in the next few minutes, another like 200 people or like 500 people will suddenly appear watching. Because that's how... That's how YouTube works. The more people who like the stream, the more people end up getting recommended the stream. And it just consists of a cycle of nightmares. Um, yes. It's a mess. Oh, a raid from Aaron. A single person with a, a poor quality heavy SMG. And I think they're attacking immediately. Well, do we have anyone who is even any good at shooting? You are the one person who is meant to be good at shooting. So... Get out here and get shooting. Dexter, you're the other person, but you technically did get shot in the head. Um, you don't have a gun. Roman does have a gun. Roman, you can get out of bed and help. Go and help with your gun. Good. Oh, that was almost close. That was close. That was a miss. That was also a miss. Roman, can you can you hit them from there? You cannot. Closer. Closer, closer, closer. Go, go, go. Go on. Try. Go on. Shoot better. Shoot better. Come on. Right. Closer, closer, closer. Closer. Shoot. You're literally an inch in front of them. Shoot, Roman. Shoot. Grey Ferret is bleeding out for you. Oh my god, he's downed. Roman, shoot better. Roman, shoot better. Shoot them in the head, Roman. Roman, please kill Sheckley. How are they? Oh my God. You're literally the worst. Roman, shoot them. There we go. <sighs> that was a bit of a mess. <laughs> Some stranger. Nice stream. Keep it up. Uh, you can have a chicken, my friend. Have a chicken. Some stranger. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you very much for the $20. Some stranger. Moran as well. Thank you very much for the 10 dollar No, 10 euros. Euros. I just took a screenshot. Moran, you're in. Chicken 7. Bam. You are now Ryan Yanus. Ryan Yanus. And chat, we've now reached the point where you get to call stuff really tax exempt. I love it. Roman is only level 4 shooting. Yeah, but level 4 shooting and someone is literally like half a meter in front of you. <laughs> right, I guess we can have Autumn come over here and pick up this uh, SMG. Autumn will now be the next, next designated shoot boy. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, Connor, we've got you here as well. Connor, you can have a chicken. I don't think I named a chicken after you. I don't think so. <gasps> Group of travellers are passing by. Huh. Where? Where, 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 where? Can we trade with them? We can't trade with them, can we? No, we can't. They're just travelling. That's frustrating. It would be good if we could trade with them. You are being tended to. You'll be fine. Oh, dear. Right, Connor, you can have a chicken. do 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 That's what you get. Can you name a chicken Vladimir Lenin? Lenin. That's <laughs> terrible. Uh, Vladimir Lenin. This chicken is now called Cluck of the Draw. Oh my god. Cluck of the Draw. Last donor, I promise. Hen and Teller. NJ Smith, you've got it. Hen and Teller it is. That is actually incredible. <laughs> Hen and Teller. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. And this chicken here. Yolks cast. After the Yolks cast, I like it. Yolks cast. Not that anyone in chat is going to get that reference because they've never heard of the Yolks cast since 2013. 
But it's fine. <laughs> Dakota Wilson. Thank you very much. Dakota Wilson. Name a chicken lunch. I like that. It's morbid, but I like it. This chicken here. You can be Jamie Stringer. Jamie. Jamie the chicken. You there, chicken. Do, 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 do. What have we got in chat? Cuckold. <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> oh, wait, no, Cluckold. <laughs> I was wondering, like, hang on a second. <laughs> Attila the Hen. Oh, that one's good. I like Attila the Hen. We did see that one early. early, But yes, it is back. Attila the Hen. Queen Hentoria. Oh, wow, that is also terrible. Queen Hentoria. Oh, dear, dear. Oh, dear. Name one nugget. I shall name a chicken nugget. Good little chicken nugget. You are now called Nugget. Yes, good chicken. Right. Do, 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 do. right so of the animals we have, we have quite a few. We don't auto cut any of this for good reason, because, you know, the animals can just eat them. Um, I think they will eat the hay grass once it's fully grown. They should get some meals out of it. Clay Cryptic, thank you very much for ten dollars. Happy birthday! Enjoy the chicken based shenanigans. I will. Oh no, that's Clay Cryptic. I'm terribly sorry. Do, 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 do. Clay Cryptic. Oh my god! I just saw the next worst chicken name. It's none other than the legendary <laughs> Hentai. I think it's a. I think it's a Japanese name. Right? <laughs> it's a Japanese name. Perfectly normal Japanese name right there. Just hentai. Oh, God. Uh, oh, it, Margaret Hatcher is growing up. Margaret Hatcher is four days old. Oh, wait, this is the HUD. Okay. Can I release Margaret Hatcher into the wild? Actually, wait, we've got a lot of chickens. And I'm just saying, if we're going to murder one of them, it's going to be Margaret Hatcher. She might not be the biggest chicken on the block. But she needs to be eaten because, you know, I want space for more chickens. Hen Solo. Chat, I hate you. Um, but you can have it. Hen Solo it is. Margaret Hatcher is dead. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> Bing bong, Margaret Hatcher is dead. We're just dumping her straight into the... <laughs> Forbid anyone to touch this corpse. We won't even eat her. <laughs> oh, fantastic. This is it. I just need a trader to come along. Jeez. Honestly, part of me is happy to just summon the... Um, summon the, uh, the... The debug menu and summon a trader, because... I, I haven't even tried out this exploit in the latest updated version, so I don't even fully know if it works. I just, I would actually like it, you know, if the game could give me an event. Quests? No, we don't want that. Incidents? No. Uh, trader? Oh no, animal trade tags, not this one. Not this one, this one. Uh... Trade. Trade. No. Trade. Do trade caravan arrival. Thank you, please. And who are we friendly with? Uh, I think Refugee Empire? Imperial Trader? There we go. Imperial Trader from the Refugee Empire. Finally, we can actually we can actually practice the exploit for once. I know I know it's cheating, but we've literally been here since We've been here for, like, three hours at this point, okay? It's not my fault the game isn't actually throwing events at us. We've had, like, two... Uh, we've had one event and then a bunch of raids. Randy Random is going for the most passive Randy Randoming I've ever seen. Right, okay, now this is where things get cheeky. 
We need to deconstruct this. Well, we need to build a wooden fence here and here to stop the chickens being able to get out. Uh, this is very important. Right, and now we get J-Man and we talk lacking necessary title to... Tr I'm an idiot. Oh god, you need you actually do need a correct title to trade with this caravan. I'm a potato. That's fine. Uh which faction likes us? The Galga Treaty and then the rest hate us. That's fine, right? Galga Treaty, do trade caravan, the Galga Treaty, bulk goods merchant. Thank you. Yeah, we need to be a knight. Yes, I, I've forgotten. It has been, look, it's been a few months since I played Rimworld. I went on holiday. It was very nice. Right, bulk goods trader is approaching. Lovely stuff. This is exactly who we're looking for. Um, right, we can now send... J-Man, you look like you're about to have a mental breakdown. Why? Want moral leader apparel and no slaves in the colony. Look, we'll get some slaves eventually. Recreation unfulfilled. You can play the horseshoe game. No one's stopping you from playing horseshoe game. It's okay. Stop having a breakdown. Jeez. Right. J-Man has gotten food poisoning due to dirty cooking area. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna so have a mental breakdown. <laughs> That's fine. What's this? We've detected a steel mining worksite nearby, controlled by the Pelican. Oh, cool. So we can go attack this, I guess. Nice. That's kind of fun. I didn't realize that's that seems new. I haven't seen anything like that before. Right. Now to test my exploit, which did work in previous versions. Now let us see if it works in this one. Okay. The aim is simple. These trade people are going to get chickens from us, but they aren't going to be able to take the chickens away. Um, right. We have a lot of chickens here to trade. Firstly, we're going to sell... We're going to sell Kingcock. I like how chickens sell for $13, despite the fact that eggs, I'm pretty sure, sell for more. Like, eggs are pretty good in terms of money. Um, right, so we will sell chicken, and we will sell chicken little, and we will sell Sir Clucks a lot, and we will sell Camilla, and we will sell the spiffing chick. Um, and I think we can also sell chick too. You know, we can just sell these default chicks, because we haven't named them. Um, and chick 15 there we go uh, and let's accept there we go bam so we've sold these chickens can they escape the area tribes people from the guy are, are trapped and are trying to dig their escape no they're not they're just trying to leave are they trying to leave was it psychic soove okay that's fine how did the chickens get out they dug out what the hell Oh my god. Okay, here's what happened. Here's what's happened. If they step into this area whilst we're doing the trade, they immediately go, ah, we're trapped. We're going to start digging out. This creates a bit of a problem because uh, whilst they're in here, they just dig a hole in here. Oh my god. I mean, we did make good money off of that. Don't get me wrong. Like, the fact that we're able to spew chickens out at this rate, we can get some good cash. But still, I'd like it if we could not have people steal the chickens. And I think genuinely the only way to do that would be to build an impassable wooden wall around the head, like, around the enclosure um, to stop people getting in. Um... I think that is genuinely the only way we can do this. Because we need to stop people getting into the enclosure, because that way it makes trade actually possible. Um, Alright, I guess we're just going to build this worst looking base in the universe. All right, I think if we stop access to the chickens with this kind of gigantic wall monstrosity, we will be able to successfully take the chickens safely uh, without anyone ruining it. Oh dear. 
This is one hard exploit. Look, it's not that bad. Oh, exploit. I hate you, chat. <sighs> yes, Biff, stop them stealing the goods they paid for. Excellent, yes. This is the entire aim, to build a wall around the goods that they've just purchased so that they can no longer access the goods they purchased, consequently won't leave with them, and will instead stay and starve to death like good chickens. Good. Uh, uh, they'll still be able to get in via the top corner. Don't worry, we're going to um, dismantle this fence here and this one here. I just couldn't do it before or else the chickens would start running everywhere. Minor break risk? I'm pretty sure we had a major break. Oh, J-Man, yeah. J-Man is still upset because he's been rebuffed twice because people don't like him. He is happy that he ate human meat and he likes the ethical style of surroundings. Nice. Um, he's in serious pain. And he really does want his little leader apparel, which is, I'm pretty sure, uh, the little head wrap. Right. Aren't we making that here? No, we're making a veil. Right, that's not the same. That's not the same at all. But we do have these awesome looking skulls. Where is it? It's I think it's in furniture? No, misc. Misc, Skull Spike. This is exactly what people want in their bedrooms. Skull Spike. Skull Spike. I think we have two skulls. Do we only have one? We only have one skull. What a shame. If only we had more. Only we had more. Ah, oh, Macklinar saying, so glad I could catch you live. I'm so glad you could catch me live and I could see you live as well. Yes, that's right. We have to wait for the next caravan to exploit. Don't worry, I'll just I'll just summon the next caravan. We can't wait around for like 500 hours for the game to try and spawn a caravan in that might never come. I, I'm not willing to go insane just for Randy Random, please. Ah. Alright, Roman, finish off the wall. Oh no, the nutrition consumption is getting slightly too high. Right, well, we don't want the chickens to starve, so... We need to deconstruct this wall so they have access to this area because this is now all successfully fenced up. Wait, did they also dig a... They also ripped this wall open. What the hell, guys? Now we've got chickens living in the dining room. God, caravans are the worst. A cougar is hunting hen solo for food. No. Hunt. How dare he? He's getting in. Uh, gun. Here. Grab gun. Come here. Dexter, come here as well. Roman, you're missing your gun, aren't you? Yes. Please grab your gun. Please. J-Man, you, you can't use a gun. Autumn, you can use a gun. Come here. No! No! Hen Solo has been killed! And it wasn't even by Kylo Hen. Oh, Hen Solo, no! Oh. No. You were the chosen one. You are supposed to bring balance to the Force, not destroy it. Well, you're not assigned to construction. Uh, well, you are now. Cut down this fence and let the chickens escape, please. There we go. Now the chickens can eat over here which means the nutrition consumption is improved. Right, everyone, ready yourselves, please. This cougar is getting nice, mighty close. Right, now, attack, no, don't run there. Attack the cougar. Oh, yes! Good shot, everyone. That was very impressive. We properly murdered that boy. He is very dead. Very, very dead. Oh. Good stuff. And now the chickens are happy. They've got all this area to run around in. Happy little chickens. Right, Jamin, can you also deconstruct all of this wooden fence so I can put a wall in, please? And this one. And this one. And this one. Right, come on. Please tell me my exploit is not fixed. And chickpea, please, can you get that out? Get out of there. That's not your area. 
but we've almost actually completely finished it. Yes, come on. No, you botched the construction. Yes, and there we go. Right, the chickens are now secured in a unobtainable chicken pen, I believe. I'm 90% certain. We are now safe to summon the trade caravan. Do tra uh, the Galga, bulk goods trader. Here they come. Right, and actually, I suppose we could just intercept them before they get to our base and start, you know, doing cheeky things. Right, uh, let's also turn off the uh, development mode. There we go. Come on. Bulk trader caravan. It's almost like you never left. Right, grab them. Good. Right, we will sell you chick one and chick six. Why can we sell you multiple times? What? Oh, is it because we have a whole bunch of unnamed chicks? It is, yes. I was wondering where we could sell them so many chickens. Right, well, there you go. Some unnamed chicks. You can have a whole bunch of them. In fact, you just have all of them. We don't we don't need all of these unnamed chicks. Bam, there you go. We sold. Sold the chickens. Right. Now, if we just disallow that. They're escaping through here. Disallow. Close, 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 close. Oh. Build a fence. Build a fence here. Build a fence here. Build a fence here. Prioritize building fence. Go, 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 go. Build it. Prioritize. You're not assigned to construction. J-Man. Go. Build it. Yes. Okay. They're trapped and they're trying to dig out to escape. What is going to happen here? None of the people are in here. The chickens took down the fence. What? Okay, fine. A chicken can destroy a fence, but can it destroy a wooden wall? We haven't got much time. We have not got much time. They've done it. No, get out. Get it. Get it. Not assigned to construction. Dexter. Dexter, you are now the most important constructor we have. Chicken is stuck. Where is he going? He's going to the top door. He's going to the top door. There was a second door. <laughs> wooden wall. Wooden wall. Build it. Build it. Draft. Not drafted. Prioritize working on wooden wall. Ch cut that tree. Uh, we want on the other side. Other side as well. Wooden wall. Wooden wall. There. Roman. Prioritize working on that wooden wall. Get it going. Get it going. No! You bastards! <clears throat> right, now. Now... We some <laughs> this is why we're testing. Look, this is part of testing an exploit live. This is how you test an exploit live, guys. You have to summon the bulk goods traders. All right, Autumn, you can go do it now because everyone else is just out off of their mind. Right, now the chickens fully enclosed. There is no door from which they can escape. Consequently... We can't sell them chickens, of course, because they don't have access to them. But if we deconstruct this temporarily, Vert, can you wake up, please? Deconstruct the wooden wall. And then I want you to put down a wooden wall here as if we are going to build it. And I want you to prioritize working on that. There you go. And then Autumn, do the trade. Right, raw meat is rotted away. I don't care. Sell them chicken dumpling, earth, Kylo hen, Yorkshire gold, and hen Kenobi. And have we got any other? We got some cheap ones down here. We can sell as well. Right, go. And then, right, with those chickens sold, already working on the building. Get the wood over there now. Get the wood over there. Don't you dare go inside as well, traders. Right, tribes people from Gaia have been trapped and are digging out to escape. Yes, but how? You're destroying my goddamn wooden wall. Why can these chickens do this? Oh.
a chicken is able to blow a hole in a wooden wall. A wooden wall. I can't believe they fixed this exploit. But um <laughs> How did it how can it get, How is a chicken able to blow a hole in a wall? What are these chickens eating? What are they doing? Why can they do this? Why are the chickens this powerful? Why are they able to blow holes in walls? I mean, okay, I think there's a way, I think there is a way to do this, okay, but I'm not sure. So my, where, my understanding of how this could be done is if we somehow created a way in which, um, I think if we if we sold them chickens that uh, were starving, we might be able to do it. I think is the way to do it. Like, if a chicken is starving, I think they would stay until the chicken had food. So maybe if we create a pen which has no food and put a chicken in it that is starving to death. We might be able to do it. Try mo making walls out of stone. It won't make a difference. Like, it, the stone will only survive a couple of extra hits. The point is that the chickens are now classed as people. Because it used to be when you tried to trap a trade caravan in, they would just straight up blow up a wall and leave. Like, they'd just go, right, we've got a pickaxe, we're leaving. Animals used to not be able to do that. You used to just be able to, like, put an animal somewhere and they wouldn't be able to get out. Um, because it's a chicken. It can't break a wooden wall with its beak and leave. They can't do that. But no, they now can. For some reason. And we've completed a sculpture. Another sculpture. It's good. Let us let us install it. Uh, God, everyone's bedroom is a nightmare. It's horribly dirty. All right, we need someone actually to work on cleaning. I guess... Autumn, you're now head cleaner. Get cleaning. Tidy up that blood. Ugh, maybe it was patched? I think so, but even if it's patched, like, the when one exploit is patched, others can be found. That's, that's kind of like my full understanding and game philosophy. So, even though this is patched, there is a way to do this. And the way to do it would be to build around here with a method in which the AI can't access. So, a way in which I think it could be done is with bridges. Okay, so if you had, if you had a base somehow, like if we if we demolish this granite here, there's space here for a chicken pen, right? And then if we bridge out to this, right, and then we destroy the bridge, the chickens are stuck here. Okay? Like, there's only space for maybe one or two chickens, but it is doable. So we would bridge here. Okay, right, I think we can do this. We can do this. We can't bridge onto... The, what do you mean we can't bridge onto... We can't bridge onto... We can't bridge onto deep water. Oh. How would we do it? How would it be done? Okay, it can be done. It can be done, ladies and gentlemen. We've got it. You can't bridge on deep water, but here's what you can do. Here's what you can do. We could surround them with water, but you can't do that in the base game. Uh, you can't place water around people. Here's what you do. It is possible to learn a psychic ability that allows you to teleport. Or alternatively, you've got it, chat. Drop pods. Drop pods could do it. We drop pod a chicken into the middle of a lake. Oh, I like it. I like it. The only issue is we need to we need to destroy this granite wall. Uh, which means I genuinely think the only way to do it is to grab Autumn here. And we would have to send him physically to 
go and try and shoot the... Um, so please can you prioritise cleaning the actual inside of the house, not the outside. Thank you. Uh, the only way we'd be able to do it is if we... If we grabbed a whole bunch of... Um, if we got like a gun, okay, and we blew this up. This gives us a tile to put chickens on. But the issue is how do you get the chickens out? I think the way you'd have to do it is you'd have to load the chicken into the launch pod and at the same time as firing the chicken over there uh, you'd have to sell the chicken at the same time so that way the chicken's not inaccessible. So because of course if the chicken's inaccessible you can't sell it like we learned that earlier but if you fire the chicken like if you put the chicken load the chicken into the drop pod before you fire it you then yeet the chicken over here it lands but it's sold, and the people can't get the chicken out. Sometimes, sometimes, chat, our mind is too much. Our mind is so smart. Shmort, Smorty has gone insane, and is now fighting the other prisoner. Who's got the knife? Who's designated knife, man? I think it was Grey Ferret here, but he's dropped his knife. Where did you put your knife? You were on Melee Boy. Melee, melee boy need melee knife. Here it is, right. Equip the knife over here. Okay, you just equip that knife and then you come over and save the prisoner. This prisoner is just taking the beating. Right, now can you please draft and melee attack them, please? They just broke the door. Luckily they aren't taking a gun. That would be a bit embarrassing. Right, stab. No, please. Come on, you've got... Got a knife and they're barehanded. Good job. You you captured them. Capture them again. And now can we also please put a wooden door back here? But chat, sometimes my genius is almost They've all got the flu. Look at how many chickens of the flu. Oh, that's fine. They could be tended. They don't take too much to tend, actually. It's not the worst. Um a moat? You can't build a moat in this game. The only way you'd be able to build a moat is if you like built one built one using a mod and at that point you're kind of getting a little bit into the cheeky territory where it doesn't really count the only other like way that i think you could get around this is if you somehow built something that the ai knows not to break down explosives are better than bullets yeah well we don't have explosives so we're doing things the old-fashioned way um with a machine gun come here autumn come in Come here with your heavy SMG. I know it's really early and you're tired. Okay, but you have a very important job. And that is to shoot a wall. Oh my gosh, it actually works way better than I was expecting. Look at him go! Make a cave next to the water on the lake. Uh, that wouldn't work because you can... Uh, they just mine their way out. They just straight up mine their way out of the cave. Please tell me there's land under here. Please, 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 please. That looks like land. Rock rubble, rock hewn granite, walk speed 93%. That's land! That is land. Right there. Just a test, marble tile. That's land, ladies and gentlemen. We can land a chicken. We can land a chicken. Right, now we just need to learn what a drop pod is. <laughs> Where do we learn drop pods? It is do 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 transport pod after microelectronics. <sighs> microelectronics unlocks things you cannot build because they require memes that none of your people have. High life or transhumanist? Ah, it's fine. We don't need this. Right, research microelectronics so I can have transport pod. Well, I suppose I could just debug and we could finish it now if we want to try and launch it. Ah, we can do it manually. We can do it manually, it's fine. Oh my god, we've got even more chickens again. There's a lot of chickens. And the grass is growing nicely, look at that. Right, this is, um... This is... Look, you can't use bridges. It's not possible. You need deep, deeper water. Although... Because the issue is you can only bridge over like shallow water, which people can walk over normally. Medical emergency. What's wrong with them? They're fine. They're fine. Shorty, look, you're fine. 
Malnutrition Extreme. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, have we not been feeding the prisoners? Did we not say prisoners were to have food? Guys, food restrictions, nothing. They can just eat simple meals. Why is no one, is no one assigned to wardening? J-Man is, but he's not doing it right. That would be why. Please, can we feed the prisoners? I'm pretty sure it is illegal not to feed the prisoners. Well, I'm pretty sure it's illegal to not feed prisoners. Uh, they get angry and upset and grumpy. Right. Give them food, please. Right, there we go. Everyone's happy. Uh, everyone's happy they've now been given food. Oh, dear goodness. Advanced cruelty uh, of prisoners starving to death right next to piles upon piles of food. It's very high tier. Look, it's just the way we like it. 75 bison meat rotted away. Yeah, it's fine. It's been there for years and we haven't used it. It's fine. It's okay. Look, we can cool it down a bit more if we like, but I don't think it's going to cool because it's summer. Who cares if some bison meat rots away? Right. Now, this is where things get complicated. Uh, the process of launching launching chickens onto an island requires a few things. We are going to need a way to make fuel, uh, which I'm pretty sure requires something. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Maybe it's something we only look under research. Because I know the pod launcher requires fuel to launch. Uh, da, 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 da. Train required media. Uh, it doesn't matter. Transport pod. How do we un biofuel refining? Biofuel refinery. There we go. Okay, so we need the biofuel refinery first, and then we can go for microelectronics. Okay, right. This is it. This is how we're doing it. Also, is the dining room good? The dining room is still somewhat impressive. That's not as good as I wanted it. Fine. Somewhat impressive is okay, but I'd rather someone was happier with their bedroom, so... Uh, we can keep it in the dining room, fine. Original Diddy asks Mr. Samuel Streamer, do all UK YouTubers know each other? Yes, we all know each other. We have a meeting once every Friday um, where we discuss, like, the Queen and stuff and how we can best overthrow America. It's a nice, fun meeting. Pretty chill. There's tea and biscuits. Um... It's good fun, good fun. Um, but yeah, only the uh, coolest YouTubers are allowed to go. Um, <laughs> and by coolest, I mean you know all the all the boomer ones. <laughs> right, let us get some. Let us get a. No, we can't use steel. We'll, we'll make another freezer here because we do need one. Oh wait, we can't because this goes out to there. Cancel, 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 cancel. I need a new freezer, but we can't build it there. Uh, guess we could build a freezer here. Like this is okay. We just build it around the graves. Yeah, that'll be fine. This could be a freezer. This will be a freezer. Perfect. Oh. Someone in chat says they've been playing since the early alphas and never figured out how to shoot a wall. You're a wizard. I mean, it's pretty simple. You see a wall and you see it as a health bar. And then you know that everything else in the game has a health bar. And equally, enemies in this game, guess what they do? They'll shoot your walls. If they can't get into your base, what do they do? They shoot your walls, which is why you design the like nightmarish trap of um, the murder boxes. Uh, because otherwise, they're just going to rip a hole in your base, like the chickens. Raiders, they're not quite as powerful as um, as chickens because chickens will just legitimately punch, uh, like, two hit a wooden wall. A bulk goods trader has randomly arrived. But, but we haven't, the, the chickens aren't ready. We haven't got the drop pod going. Come back in a few days when we've got the drop pod going, please. Please, that was not the time. Oh, dear, oh, dear. You just cut off a growing zone? I don't think I did. BB has gone berserk again. Oh no, Shorty went berserk last time. Why have you gone berserk? 
It's not the malnutrition, is it? Ravenously hungry. These people. Oh, the rage has come to an end because they were punched to the floor. Well, that'll do. Capture them. And, you know, I mean, honestly, at this point, these prisoners have been too pernickety, which means, like, as soon as they start getting a bit uppity, yeah, that's when you have to kill them. Uh, right lung, kidney, and heart, please. Uh, but there is no medicine. Yeah, they're not having medicine. Don't you worry. There is no medicine. The oh, actually, wait, there you do need medicine, don't you? Oh, you do need medicine. Well, that's fine. We have a solution to that. We can harvest wild medicine. Because who doesn't want to have their organs harvested by random herbs that we found on the floor? The perfect kind of organ harvesting medication. Take their legs. I mean, what, what are we going to do with their legs? We can do things with their hearts, but not legs. Uh, they want me to look after some prisoners. We don't want that. Oh, a raid. Well, it's a good thing we've got a caravan here, then. That'll definitely slow down the raid. Good. Oh, we've broken one of the prisoners' um, wills. Okay, so I suppose we could turn them into a slave, but instead we're going to take their organs instead. Uh, which seems perfectly fair. Perfectly fair indeed. Are the raiders coming down? Are they attacking us? Where are they? They're milling about up here. Hopefully they attack soon, because I'd love it if the caravan could fight them for me. Right, J-Man, let us see if you can come down here and do a quick cheeky trade. What have they got? They will take our lungs and hearts. But we probably want them to stay for a little bit longer as well, so we don't want to do this trade straight away. Uh, they c we, could we can buy herbal medicine from them. Oh, there we go. They're beginning the assault. Perfect. Right. Good. Good, 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 good. Right, where are they going? Okay, they're going around here. I think the caravan will protect us. Yes, they will. Fantastic. Good. Fight for me, caravan. Fight. Splendid. I don't have to do a thing. And if anyone dies, we can just steal the stuff. Good stuff. Well done. Well done. All right, let us trade. Now, the thing is, we want to kind of be good friends with this faction. Um, so I think one thing we can do is gift. Gift mode. Uh, we are going to gift some hearts. I think they will accept a low-quality kidney, a lung, and a heart. This will improve relations by 18. Uh, would you like... A whole bunch of chicks. Wow, chicks hardly improve the relations. Eight chicks to get like two relation improvements. It, organs are amazing, right? Let's offer gifts. They'll take them. They'll like them. Good. Uh, Margaret Hatcher's corpse is decaying over here. Perfect. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Right, this is like one of the most complicated exploits I've ever had to pull off because we're yeeting chickens into space. Oh, we enslaved someone. Cool. Uh, we enslaved both of them. Are we still harvesting their organs? No, we're not, apparently. Ah, that's fine. They can work for us. You know, they can do menial stuff, I guess. I mean, if they escape, they escape. That's fine. We'll set them both to cleaning high priority and hauling. Good stuff. Good. Right. Well, if they escape, I don't mind. Um, just free range organs. Right. How goes our research? Because that is actually very important. Manhunter pack. Manhunter monkeys! I think the trade caravan will hang around for a bit, though, which is good. If we can keep the trade caravan here, this is a good sign. No, they're leaving. No. Please. No, yes, the monkeys are here. Fantastic. Good. They will. One of the monkeys has made it inside. J-Man, please. Please, can we kill the monkey? Shoot the monkey. Not the furniture. Oh, you're incapable of violence. J-Man, why are you incapable of violence? Autumn, come here. Come here, save him. Save him from the monkey. Monkey is dead, good. Oh, everyone is happy. Everyone is happy. Good stuff, right? There's a man bleeding on the floor here. 
Can we save him to harvest his organs? His organs are shot up. He's not worth it. Let's just strip him of his clothes and take his head off. Oh, does this skull actually also beautify the room a bit? Causes terror. Nice. Um, I think that makes the room better. No, it doesn't, but that is fine. <sighs> As this Dexter couldn't reach Shorty the Illuminator, so he decided to redirect his anger at Verts, the scavenger. Uh, you're just on the insulting spree, Dexter. Please, can you just behave, please? Please. Animal starvation? Why are these chickens starving? Is it because of the flu? It's because of the flu, isn't it? And Dexter's the one in charge of looking after the animals. Can you please feed the chickens? You know, we can actually have some of... I think the slaves look after them. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where is it? It's handle, right? Yep. You both can also look after the chickens. It is not difficult work to look after a chicken. Why are you sleeping out here with the chickens? You know what? Fine. I'm not going to judge them. If they want to sleep with the chickens, they can sleep with the chickens uh, in the wild. <gasps> Good quality auto pistol. <gasps> Yay, we can take that. I would like that. Oh. Alright, what time is it? I realise it is... Oh, we've been going for three hours and ten minutes. That's good. But I want to see if I can drop pot a chicken onto this island. And you know what? We're not going to be able to do it in time. So that means we're just going to... I'm afraid we're going to have to cheat it. We're going to have to debug finish that. And debug finish that. Research this instead. Oh, wait, no. Research this. And then debug this. Right. I'm sorry, chat. I don't like cheating. I know you don't either. But we need to create fuel. So, um, chem fuel power generator. No, we need to make chem fuel. Biofuel refinery refines biological manner into chem fuel. Perfect. Do, 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 do. And get some steel. Good stuff. Oh, yes. Prisoner beds need to be set for slaves. You're right. Right. We can select both of these and save for slaves. Yay. They still have their room. All is happy. Extreme break risk. Both of the slaves are unhappy because they had to live outside. Where are they going? Cleaning dirt. That just seems like escaping. 90% certain you're just trying to escape. Feeding rice to Chick Astley. <laughs> I love this game. Oh dear, oh dear. Right, who's assigned to mining? Is anyone actually... You know what? We can give that to the prisoners as well. They can try mining. Because we need some steel uh, if we're going to get this chem fuel lab going. And then even after we have that chem fuel lab, we need to get a pod launcher, which in turn is even more. So let's get a pod launcher. And then we need a transport pod to be built onto that pod launcher. This is quite possibly one of the silliest constructions I've ever done, but it is going to be incredible when it's finished. Do we have anyone else assigned to mining? I guess Verts is. Verts, could you finish off mining? Like, we don't really need all of these potato plants. Oh. I just want to know if it's possible to launch chickens into space. That's all I'm interested in. Shorty's gone catatonic. Ah, it's fine. Verts, you can you can rescue them, I guess. Take them away. <laughs> Save them if necessary. I suppose we can upgrade you to an auto pistol as well. Grab that pistol. There we go. Deaf lunch hand because of the flu. Oh dear. Lunch has died, Queen Hentoria has died, and Cluck of, uh, Cluck of the Draw has also died of the flu. It's a shame, but you know, it's going to happen. Some of these chickens, they're getting older. They get the flu, it knocks them out. But it's okay, because when they die, they go to Chicken Heaven, also known as the Butchering Table. Uh, and then they get turned into tasty chicken food, which um, gets combined with human meat to, ta to make tasty human-chicken hybrid food. It's tasty. That's all that matters. 
Right, Vert, get back to mining. Uh, BB, what are you doing? You're cleaning dirt. You can also try and mine compacted steel for me. Do, 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 do. I like the slaves have meager slave expectations. This is good. This is very good. Oh, we could... Somewhat impressive dining room. Slaves are happy with the dining room we have? This is useful. Very useful. I like how they are just happy with being a slave. That is insane. Most slave mods aren't happy with people being enslaved. So, you know, I'll take, I'll take a win where we get the one. Wait, who's construction? Roman is construction. Roman, can you please build this camp? You need steel. Can we please... No empty space. Oh my god, the food has overflowed. Oh my god. Right, we need to create new zone. Stockpile zone. This is for... Delete this zone, right? Make new zone. Stockpile zone. Here and here. Once again, this is clear all. Food only. No, clear all. Yes, just food. And critical priority. Go. Right, now we can finally get the food out of here and into somewhere where it will actually stay cold. And I'm also going to need to get a new dumping stockpile. Great. Orders, haul things. There we go. Just get rid of all of that. Perfect stuff. Now we actually have space for the steel to be put because the rice can be moved out. Oh, right. We're making progress. Progress is being made. The transport pod has been launched. Uh, set target fuel. We don't need much. Literally, uh, one tile is what we need. So four. Um, in fact, I mean, build transport pod. There we go. Right, we'll build the transport pod. I mean, we could cheat and add the necessary 0 0.1 fuel. Oh, well, that is actually tiny. Right, well, we'll just make the fuel ourselves. That's fine. I don't mind making fuel. Fall has begun. Good, 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 good. Uh, stop them from sending the fertilized eggs into the new fridge. Oh, my God, they hold 48 fertilized eggs in here. Thank you, chat. That's 48 chicks that are going to be created. But then again, we do have quite a lot of chicken already. This is um, this is a good quantity of chicken. There are so many chicks, it is ridiculous. This is insane. There are too many of them. Use dev mode to create a deep water moat around the chicken. <laughs> okay, if that fails, that's what we'll do. Wog hunting birds for food. What the heck, guy? What the heck? That's really rude. Right. You. You. Defend ourselves, please. Might need autumn as well, why not? Right, kill the warg. Good job, everyone. That was good. That was very good. I'm happy with that. Good stuff. Right. Now, can we please haul the stone? Yes, we can. Good. Haul the steel in and the food out. And let me make my thing. Right, the steel is slowly getting hauled at the pace of a snail. The pace of a snail. We actually have a visitor as well. Visitor. Some random person is visiting the colony and they have items to trade. <gasps> Can we sell a chicken to them? Will you accept a chicken? Do 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 do. Chicken? They will not accept a chicken. Imagine that. Imagine being so back-minded that you wouldn't accept a chicken if it was offered to you. I mean, we literally have a million of them, so um, it'd be a bit silly not to take them. They're kind of undervalued at this point. Right, so I think we have a good amount of steel. Do we have enough to make this? Nope. Skill too low. What about you? Can you make it? Need steel. Okay, still need steel. Ah, oh, we need more mining. 
Mine, 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 mine. Mine, mine, mine. Mine, 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 mine. Good. Right, Grey Ferret, you need to get mining. Vert, you also need to be mining. Roman, you're not assigned to it. J-Man, are you? No, you're not either. Dexter, let me guess, you're also, you are assigned to mining, perfect. Right, mine the steel. I need steel to build my floaty space contraption. Oh, we can load, we can load chickens. We can load chickens. This is it. You can load the slaves into the truck, but we can fire humans at people. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is it. This is it. We can do it. We can do it. I believe in us, chat. I believe. Also, Dexter, please upgrade your gun to something that isn't terrible. Right, we're actually building it. We're actually building it. Roman, please finish off the biorefinery whilst I'm still alive and not dead. Of old age, we are building the chicken cannon, or, as I like to call it, the cock launcher. Right, bills, add bill. Chem fuel from wood. Yes, that will do. Make 10. Um, that'll be fine. Can you craft? Yes, you're good at crafting. Oh, it needs power. Of course it needs power. Of course it would need power, you potato. Jeez. Right, build the cables as well, please. Please build cables. We get building. Build them cables. Right, good. It is now finished. Right, Roman, bam. Make me some chemicals. <laughs> Send Strix in the cock launcher. Fine, 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 fine. We'll, uh, load. Where is Strix? Strix is here. Okay, so I think Strix won't be too difficult to load in. Right. I think that's us. Technically, we've made some fuel. Yep, and it's getting loaded in. Good. And that's actually the target fuel. So this is actually now good to go. This is good to go. Right. I think we're ready. I think we are actually ready for this. Okay. Debug. Do trade caravan. The Galgas. Bulk goods merchant. Here we go. Here we go. Bulk goods trader. Perfect. They're arriving. Now. This is either going to crash the game or create something amazing. All right, send you over here very quickly and trade with them. But just before, just as we trade with them, actually, are we able to load them up before? Strix the chicken. Strix, you're going to space. Load Strix. They will now be loaded into the transport pod. Here comes Grey Ferret with Strix the Chicken into the transport pod. They have been loaded into the transport pod and they are now ready. Right. Where is our... Right, I think Autumn, if you can now please trade with them. Let us see if we can sell Strix directly or if we have to wait. I don't think Strix is on the list. We can check. Nope, he is not on the list. Okay, which means this is going to get complicated. We need to unload... Cancel load. Strix is out. Now we need to load... Oh my goodness, this is going to be a nightmare. Load Strix in. And then, at the same time, Autumn needs to trade. Autumn, why are you so slow? Oh my goodness, right. Okay, we need to wait for them to stand still then. Cancel load. Autumn, why are you so slow? What is wrong with you? Major food poisoning. Stop complaining about major food poisoning. Jeez. Just don't have food poisoning. It's easier. Right, okay. Strix is now here. Now load Strix into here, okay? Strix loads into launcher. If Strix is in the process of getting loaded into launcher, are we then able to trade for him at the same time? Yes. Yes, we can. Right. We wait for them to almost put Strix into the launcher. Loading is in process. J-Man, I'm going to need you to stay with me. I'm going to need you to stay with me, please. 
follow that trader. Follow that trader. We timing is everything. Pick up Strix. Pick up Strix the chicken. Oh my god. Pick up Strix the chicken. Yes, Dexter's coming with the chicken. He's coming with the chicken. Right, he's coming. Here we go. Right, the chicken is there. Right. Now, we can't trade the chicken just yet, but if we load... Okay, here we go. If we load Strix like so, hit accept. He's literally right there. Dexter's going to do it. Prioritize loading so that he's one tile away. Then J-Man is here, and he's going to trade, and we're going to sell Strix. Right. Here we go, guys. <laughs> this is the most convoluted way I've ever tried to kill a trade caravan. But here we go. Load complete, ready to launch. He's in. He's in. The chicken is in. The chicken is loaded. Content Strix. Fire. You may fire when ready. <laughs> Look at him go. He's going. He's going. Look at him fly. He's, he flew out of the map. He's back. Transport pod has arrived. It worked! It worked, ladies and gentlemen! He's in! And he's part of the caravan! So now the caravan can't leave! We did it! We actually did it! Oh my god! We dropped it! He's in! He's in! Look at him! He's right there! Oh my god, what happens now? What happens now? Let's turn off the debug mode. Because I don't want the game to try and cheat its way out of the situation. They can't leave. I reckon they can't leave. Whilst this chicken lives on this island, they also must remain. Oh my god, chat. I think we've done it. I think we've actually done it. This is it. This is history. Oh my god. Corbin Fry says, My son just came home from his first day of school and, set and screamed, Dad Spiff is live streaming. He wants me to tell you. Uh, Noah says, Happy birthday. Thank you very much, Noah. Thank you very much, Corbin Fry. Hope you're having a lovely evening. And congratulations for your first day of school. That is incredible. Well, there's fires going on. Hopefully, lightning doesn't strike the chicken that we've placed on this island. But my goodness, what an incredible operation to simultaneously sell a chicken and load it into a drop pod, launch it up into space, and then land it here on this single island in the middle of nowhere, inaccessible island. Why is the refinery on fire? Please, can we put out the fire? Please, I do not want the entire base to burn down. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, uh, transport pod some food over there. That's a really good idea. The only issue is, I think if we were to land a drop pod onto this chicken, we would kill it. Um, I think if we were to literally drop hay on top of the chicken, we would murder it. But you're right. Next time, if we want the chicken to outlive the people, all we have to do is land food on the island as well. But the thing is, um, when people start to starve, uh, the issue is we can't really shoot at the rock because if we try and shoot at the rock here we're just going to hit the chicken and that's going to anger everyone so we can't really do that um, oh my goodness oh. electronics catch fire when left out in the rain you're right they do they do do that you make perfect sense now we need to desperately repair this biofuel refinery before it melts uh, in another fire but you make perfect sense, chat. Right, I wonder what this caravan's going to do. Because they're going to start running out of food soon. They're going to start running out of food. And trust me, we can last longer than they can. Best of all, if they're staying here, they're leaving. They're leaving? What are they doing? How is the chicken leaving? What? What? They just left the chicken behind! What? That's illegal! What are they doing? 
What are they doing? Oh my god. We gave them a chicken and everything. Everything. We launched a chicken onto this island. For what purpose? We can't get him back. Strix is stuck here forever. He's the safe, he's the only chicken here. We can't access him because he's here. We can't. <laughs> I can't believe. Okay, so what they've done is the devs have patched the game so that no matter what, no matter what problems you're going, you're having, the game is just going to force the caravan to leave no matter what. And all I've done is condemn an innocent chicken to death. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've just launched and yeeted a chicken onto an island. You've created the single chicken-based Alcatraz in the universe. Run away, run away, run away. There we go. Shoot. Right, run and kite. And kite. Roman, please, can you hit the shot? Roman, please, can you hit the... Oh, my goodness. Can you not hit? It's point blank. Dexter. Oh my goodness, can you guys not hit point blank shots, please? Ah, there we go. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this has been Operation Try and Trap a ca Trade Caravan using excessive quantities of chickens. Um, it's a shame it did not work out. I think... Uh, it's something. Like... As someone rightfully points out, you technically you technically did still keep the chicken. The issue is, have we really kept the chicken? Because all I see here is it slowly starving to death Strix. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can save him. If we build a transport pod here, okay, we can do this. We can do this. If we can build a transport pod, we can save that chicken. We can save that chicken and give it a life. Load food. We need to get food onto it. Items, rice. Someone airdrop this chicken 1,000 rice. 1,377 rice loaded onto this drop pod for the chicken. We're giving this chicken enough food to last its entire logical life. This is of critical importance. Prioritize loading that transport pod. You as well. Everyone needs to help with the loading process. Actually, they can't, I suppose. But individually, I need people assisting with loading of the drop pod. Come on, load. Load your rice. Load. Load. Actually, I suppose if I just assign everyone to maximum haul. Right, you will haul... With speed, why is the... What just happened? Oh, the uh, generator set on fire, right? <laughs> well, the biofuel refinery. <laughs> right, Operation Save the Chicken is a go. 900 rice has been loaded, 1,500. Perfect, this is it. The generator keeps setting on fire and burning people. It's okay. Is that the rice loaded? 1,275. This is good progress, good progress. Vert is still on fire. All is fine. Is that loaded? It's ready for launch. Launch. It might kill the chicken, but it's worth it. That's not where I wanted it to last. <laughs> We've created a prison for the chicken. All of the food has landed just out of reach because the chicken was occupying this tile. Fine, you know, I'm not giving up though. I'm not giving up. Build another drop pod. Who's got the assault rifle? Autumn. Get up here again. Go here. Go here. Your job is simple. 
shoot the wall next to the chicken. If we can do that, we can save the chicken. If we can land some rice without murdering the chicken. Just whatever you do, don't hit that chicken. Why is the chicken so important? We flew this chicken onto an island. It's the it's more important than you. Right, we can only technically fire 75 rice over there, but we can do it in stints. It's okay. Oh my goodness. Right, Roman. Not enough steel. Not enough steel. Autumn, you're not assigned to mining. Right, well, we'll let everyone rest. And then tomorrow, straight into the mines with them. Into the mines. We're saving that chicken's life. We just need 60 steel. 60 st That's 38. That's not enough. Oh, dear. That's enough. Right. Your construction skill is too low. That's fine. We'll summon Roman to do it. We'll just wake him up. He's not even had his breakfast, but we're going to send a chicken food. And bam. Right. Load... 75 rice. Exactly 75 rice. It's one stack, except it's fueled and ready to go. We just need to load it in. BB's loaded it and launch. Operation send chicken rice. Whatever you do, don't land in that area. Yes, it's worked. He's eating the rice. Ladies and gentlemen, we have done it. We've saved a chicken. Oh my goodness. We did it. We did it. We actually did it. We saved a chicken that stranded on an island after we sold it to some people who get left it there to die. Well, ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for watching. This has been the legendary perfectly balanced organ harvesting live stream where we created about 400 chickens and then yeeted them onto an island. Best birthday party I've ever been to personally. I hope you like it. We can now go to sleep. If you enjoyed the stream, of course, feel free to like it. Um, it's time for us to go. But thank you very much for watching, everyone. It has been an absolute pleasure having you here with me. And I hope you have a wonderful day. An absolutely wonderful day. Farewell, all. What an incredible colony we've created. Shout out to everyone who, of course, was named after a chicken um, and all of you in chat for coming up with the worst puns I've ever seen in the universe. You're all amazing. Have a lovely day and goodbye, my friends. Goodbye. Bye, 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 bye.